Hello everyone, welcome to another Far East Wargaming Bat Rep. It has been a little while. We've been occupied, I think, with, uh, with no retreats. Very occupied indeed. Uh, but we're very happy to bring you another Bat Rep finally, and it is a little bit different content for you in a couple different ways. So for today's Bat Rep, we're going to do 3,000 points. We're going to have the Loyalist Blood Angels versus the Traitor Emperor's Children and mm -hmm. Eidolon. Uh, we're also bringing you some different content in the sense that we're looking at the new book. So the new book, uh, The Exemplary Battles. We're playing one of the missions out of the book. It's called Sector Control, I believe it's called. Yep. So this one's pretty interesting. Uh, it's an objective-driven game. It usually only lasts four turns with a five-up for a fifth turn, which I think is, uh, is a little less likely, so you have to play quite aggressive. And uh, yeah, we're kind of reenacting a, a twist on uh, Planet Murder. Indeed. Where the Blood Angels and the Emperor's Children were down fighting the Arachnids. If you've read the books, you would, you would know that story. So you'll see a little bit of the alien-looking terrain on the table today and some uh, Imperial Ruins. So really exciting that we can bring the new content and the new armies. Uh, what do you think? Uh, you looking forward to this one? Oh, very much so. I mean, after playing Imperial Fists quite intensely for a couple of months, <laughs> great to uh, change it up a little bit again, um, bring out my original first Heresy Legion, the Emperor's Children, yep. much beloved, and bring out one of my favorite characters from 1.0, Eidolon. It's actually my first time, I believe, using Eidolon in 2.0. So yeah, let's see how he'll do. Um, hope he's still as solid as he used to be and can uh, whack off some uh, Loyalist heads. We'll see. So this is only my second time to play the Blood Angels in 2.0, so I guarantee you I'm going to make mistakes. Uh, I apologize in advance for that, but we're trying to bring you something a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, really excited about this one. Different content, different armies, new book, new table. It's got all the makings of a winner. So we're going to come back to you in just a little bit, and we'll have the armies and their breakdown. For the Loyalists today, we have 3,000 points of Blood Angels running the Day of Revelations Rite of War. The Warlord for this force is a Praetor with a Paragon Blade and Thunderhammer. He's also upgraded with a Warhawk Jump Pack. His Warlord trait is Paragon of Unity. For the second HQ, we have a Chaplain with a Spear of Perdition as his Cresarius and a Warhawk Jump Pack. For our first Elite slot, we have a Contemptor Dreadnought running a Gravis Melter Cannon and a Gravis Power Fist with inbuilt Heavy Flamer. For our second Elite slot, we have a 10-man Dawnbreaker Cohort being led by a Dawnbreaker Champion with a Blade of Perdition. Four Dawnbreakers have been upgraded with Equinox Power Blades. The rest have the Falling Star Power Spears. Next, we have a nine-man strong squad of Angel's Tears. The Arch Irlem has been upgraded with Artificer Armor and two Plasma Pistols. And Five of the Marines have been upgraded with Iliastus Assault Cannons. For the final Elite slot, we have a three-man Apothecarian Detachment. All have been upgraded with the Warhawk Jump Packs. For troops, we start with a 10-man Tactical Squad, with the Sergeant being upgraded with Artificer Armor and Power Sword. This unit also has a Legion Vexilla upgrade, as well as a Rhino dedicated transport with searchlights and Iliastus assault cannon. Next, we have a 15 man assault squad. The Sergeant is upgraded with Artificer armor and a Power Fist, and three of the squad have been upgraded with Power Axes. For our third troop slot, we have another 15-man assault squad. The sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer Armor and an Axe of Perdition. Three of the squad have been upgraded with Power Swords. For the final troop slot, we have a 10-man assault squad. The sergeant here is just in Power Armor and two of the assault squad have been upgraded with Power Swords. For Fast Attack, we have a 
two strong javelin squadron with las cannon sponsons two hunter killer missiles each and pintle mounted multi melters next in fast attack we have a contemptor incandius dreadnought running two gravis power fists with inbuilt iliastus assault cannons finally for heavy support we have a 10 man strong heavy support squad upgraded with iliastus assault cannons the sergeant is running power armor and they have a dedicated transport rhino with iliastus assault cannon and searchlight upgrades this rounds up 3,000 points of Loyalist Blood Angels running the Day of Revelations Rite of War. For the Traitors, we have 3,000 points of Emperor's Children running no Rite of War. The Warlord for this force is Lord Commander Eidolon, bringing his Mastercrafted Glory Eterna to play and his Warhawk Jump Pack. For the second HQ, we have a Chaplain with Sonic Shrieker upgrades and Warhawk jump pack. And for his Crisarius, he is using a Power Axe. For the third HQ, we have a Delegatus in Tartarus armor with a Thunder Hammer and Combi Bolter. He is accompanied by a four-man strong Tartarus command squad the standard bearer has been upgraded with a lightning claw and so has one of the other command squad members the remaining two have been upgraded with chain fists they will all be riding in a land raider proteus carrier with search lights for elites we have a 10-man palantine blade aquila squad the palantine prefector is upgraded with a phoenix spear and melter bombs Five of the Palantine Blades are equipped with Phoenix Spears. The remaining four are equipped with Phoenix Rapiers. For the last Elites, we have a two-man Apothecarian Detachment, both of which are upgraded with Warhawk Jump Packs. For troops, we start with a 15-man strong Assault Squad. The Sergeant is upgraded with Artificer Armor, Melter Bombs, and a Phoenix Power Spear. One of the Assault Squad is upgraded with a Power Axe, and two have been upgraded with Power Swords. The second troop slot is a 10-man Tactical Squad, with the Sergeant upgraded with Artificer Armor and Phoenix Power Spear. They are riding in a Rhino dedicated transport with Dozer Blade upgrades. The third troop slot is another 10 man tactical squad. The sergeant here is upgraded with Artificer Armor and they are also riding in a Rhino dedicated transport with Dozer Blade upgrades. For fast attacks, we have a Javelin Squadron with two javelins upgraded with hunter killer missiles and multi-melter pintle mounts with cyclone missile launcher sponsons. For heavy supports, we have a Derrideo Dreadnought with Aos missile launcher, twin linked heavy bolter and hellfire plasma cannonade. Also in heavy support, we have a 10-man strong cacophony squad with the orchestrator upgraded with artificer armor. Finally, we have a 7-man sun killer squad with las cannons. The noviator is upgraded with artificer armor and an augury scanner. This rounds off 3,000 points of Traitor Emperor's Children, led by Lord Commander Eidolon. The battlefield today, we have a Vanguard Strike deployment with five objectives. Three have been placed by Jason and two have been placed by Paul. Paul has placed his deep in his deployment zone to start scoring early. And Jason has made it harder by placing them 
more out in the open in the no man's land to try and make Paul work for it in the first couple of turns. Deployment for the Blood Angels. Since he's using Day of Revelations, he's got a lot coming in in Deep Strike. And he's chosen his Deep Strike location to be here, very close to the deployment zone of the EC. He's chosen to deploy a Rhino full of tactical marines on the left flank. His Elastus Assault Cannon Heavy Support Squad in another Rhino in the middle. And his last troop that's been deployed on the deployment zone is a Lone Contemptor. Will he survive till turn two? For the Empress Children deployment, because of Vanguard Strike, they're restricted to this corner. They've got the Land Raider with the Command Squad and Delegatus close to the fourth and third objectives. There's also a Assault Squad with the Chaplain following suit. The Javelins are holding the back line with the Cacophony taking forward positions to move and shoot. The Derideo is following them up as fire support with the deadly sun killers taking the high ground to try and get some lines of sight. And the two scoring tax squads in the rhinos are following up the rear. So the Empress children have the chance to seize the initiative. So Paul, gonna roll to see if you can. Don't okay, do it, let's Paul. Let's do this, let's do this. Don't End do this it. game in turn one. No, oh, it shall not happen. It's a two. All right. Good, Good luck, sir. Yep, yeah, let's have fun. Let's wipe some uh, loyalist blood on this planet. Curse you, traitors. <laughs> let's get some movement started for the Blood Angels. I don't have a lot to move, so this is going to be quick. <laughs> and run the Contempt up there. We're going to put a Rhino there and pivot. We're going to get out the fun machines. Got a lot of DACA coming. I think I got one more assault cannon somewhere. I got one more assault cannon somewhere. <laughs> Missing guy. Uh, he's on top of the rhino. Of the <laughs> I, gotta be, I apparently have to be smarter than the... Uh, smarter than the rhino. No sense in getting too close to you. Why not? Just come at me, bro. Got plenty of space. I'm sure you do. I can get out here. Make sure everybody's in 24. Yeah, we're in 24 and we're about... Yeah, let's make you have a 7-inch charge if you charge me. Next up, we're going to try and get on the board early. The rhino here. Deploying the tax squad so we can take advantage of this objective relatively quickly. that I'm roughly in uh, the deployment. Yeah, that's good. Get a little bit closer so we have more scoring. All right. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the movement. <coughs> Short and sweet, as I mentioned. Okay, starting with the shooting for the Blood Angels, I think I'm gonna lead off with the heavy support squad with the Elastius pattern assault cannons that got out. I'm gonna shoot at your assault squad, Paul. No surprise there, and I have an apothecary already, so no point to shroud here. Just yep. come and receive. All right, well, this is 40 shots, 10-man strong squad. It is night fight, so I'm hitting you on fours. Here's the first <clears throat> 20 of 40. We'll pull out the misses. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. So we only missed five, so that's 15 hits so far. And then the second 20. Do, do these get hot? No, is it not? Only for reactions. Ah, okay. Yep, so second 20. This is where the averages come back. And we missed 
Uh, it looks like we missed 10. So okay. total of 25. Not too bad. Not too bad. So strength six, I'm wounding you on <coughs> twos and sixes are gonna rend. Yep. So here's the first 20 and I'll roll five more after that. Okay, for rends we got one, two, three so far. And then we failed to wound with five. So three rends, 12 wounds. Yep. And then here's the remaining five of 25. Uh, four more wounds. Okay. Oh, no, three more wounds. Three more wounds, excuse yep. me. Yep, thank you for that. So you got three wen three rends. Yep. And a total of 15 wounds. All right, let's do it. 15 normal ones, that is, right? Correct. Okay. <coughs> okay, so... Hmm, uh, the three rends we're just gonna take on normal guys, so they will just get a few more pain. Okay. That is two dead. Okay. Two normal guys. And then we got another 15, right? Yep, so you're so, gonna spike some of these? Yep, we'll start tanking this on the chaplain. Okay. So here's a two up. Oh, that's a one. That's Feel a no one. pain. Yep, he feels the pain. Okay, so much for that. 14 more to go. <laughs> 14 more to go. That's right, that's right. Not gonna tank another one here. All right. Uh, so we'll just take these on normal guys. So I have 10 dice here, so I'll do these and another four. So that's one, two, three fails so far. So we'll do the feel no pain on these. Two dead so far and another four. One more feel no pain. Feels the pain. So three more die. Yep, so, so five, five in total. total. Yep. yep. Okay. okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going to shoot the uh, assault cannon on the rhino itself as well. I'm going to do that at the same target. Yep. Might as well try and get some more hits in there. So here's four shots on fours. Uh, just one hit. Once again, wounding on a two with a six rending. Uh, hey, it's a rend. Hey, okay, another funeral pain. Nope, another guy feels the pain. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm going to check the range. I'm going to see if any of my rhino or my tactical marines over here are in range of that same target. So let's check the Rhino first, it's out of range. And then a Tactical Marines, looks like two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, six, let's call it six. So six bolters, do you wanna do anything to react or anything like that? No. Nope. Okay. So these are also hitting you on fours. Uh, not bad, four hits. Okay. Wounding on fours. Uh, hey, three wounds. Hey, three, three ups. That's good. All good. Okay. The <coughs> last thing I'm going to shoot now is the Contemptor. This is mm -hmm. probably a really bad idea. <laughs> uh, huh. You know what? Uh, no guts, no glory. We're going to shoot at your um, Sun Killers. Okay. Uh, I like that choice. Obviously, I will return fire here. Yeah, I need to get rid of as many last cannons as I can. So here's the two from the Gravis Melta Cannon, twin yep. linked on threes because of night fight. Uh, thankfully, it's twin linked. Hmm. Let's see about that. Uh, one hit. Okay. Killing on a two. Yep. And you get a six up cover save. Yep. That's right. Let's. Nope. You got one. All right. And then your return fire, sir. Yep. Let's do seven last cannons back. Okay. <coughs> Hitting on threes. Yep. Night fight. Wow. Okay. That is two hits. All right. <laughs> okay. Two's to wound. Yeah, two. Two invulns. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the invuln saves here. So these are on five ups. And uh, we pass one, so I only take one wound. I'll wow. trade that. I'll trade that. So he has five now left. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be the extent of my shooting because I don't actually have anything else to shoot. I only started with three units on the board. You do owe me, however, a break test on... Oh, you've got a chaplain. Yes, I should be okay there. Okay. They're no longer fearless, right? I thought is stubborn, it stubborn 10. 10? Okay, yeah, well, it's stubborn well, well. 10. That's fine. That's okay. That's three. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, for sector control, this new mission out of the Exemplary Battles book, for every uh, objective marker that's controlled at the end of the player turn, we got to roll a dice with the attacker getting plus two to the roll. On a one to three, the marker scores zero. On a four, it's going to score one point. And on a five plus for the attacker, it's going to score three and disappear because the attacker gets plus two. So it's a little bit wonky, but I add plus two to this roll and let's see what happens. So it's a six. That means I'm gonna score three points and that tactical objective is gone. So thank you, Tactical Squad. You have uh, fulfilled your, your mission, your death mission. And I get to put a three on the table for my points. Mm. 
Let's see what you got, Paul. All right. All right, Empress Children, turn one. Honestly, that could have gone better. I lost six Assault Marines, a wound on the Chaplain. I lost the Sun Killer. I only did one wound on his Contempt and Return. And I lost this objective, which that's not ideal, to be very honest. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do. It's, it's time to go, go all out and uh, reap some blood here. I thought it was fantastic, personally. <laughs> of course. So the Land Raider is just going to pivot, move up six. And then I think it's time to bring out the boys to wipe that scum off the earth. The party bus. The party bus has arrived. That's and that's, right. that's the command squad, is that it That is the command squad, indeed. Well, let's see what happens. I don't think the tax squad is long for this world, but they have fulfilled their first objective. So I'm currently, I'm currently 12 inches away. So unless you elect to run away, that will be a four inch charge. I'm going to react to when your command squad gets out. And I think I cannot get everybody to the door, but I'm going to make this as absolutely hard as possible for you. Totally understandable. So bringing everybody back. I would have loved to have been able to get back into the Rhino, but I can't. <laughs> if only. If only. That would have been tactics. That would have been. And then these guys are basically going here, and that should leave you about a... Uh, about a nine inch charge. Okay, let's see what we can do. All right. I have confidence in uh, my uh, tilted dice. In so. your flawless execution That's of the Emperor's right. Children. That's indeed right. All right, let's do the same over here. Um, the jump pack Marines are obviously going to make their way over here. Okay. At least get rid of that unit there. If that unit is gone, that's already a huge, huge pain uh, removed here. That is a scary unit, I admit. It's a pricey unit, but it's scary. Of course. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and then let's see what we want to do with the rest. Hmm. Big brain time. Hmm. Big brain time indeed. Thing is, now if I would shoot either of those units, I'm probably going to make my charge a little bit longer. So there's pros and cons here, but I think I probably have to go for it either way. Okay. Yeah, those are my sacrificial lambs. Of course. I'm just thinking how to organize my target priority here. These guys probably just going to move up and get themselves ready to receive whatever is going to come on that point. In the next turn? Yep, big deep strike coming. Yep. Three yep, quarters yep. of my army. Okay. I'm also thinking it makes sense to bring out the tacticals here just so A, I can score that objective and B, next turn I can fury at whatever comes down there. I think so as well. I think with that uh, lucky three that I scored for the first uh, first objective marker, you're probably going to have to try and put some pressure back on me. Certainly desperate for objectives now. And the tax squad comes to play. That they shall. And the second text, what actually is going to do this just the same. Jump out and get that objective. Yep. Yeah, good idea. Now the points work a little bit differently for the defenders, right? On objectives, because you don't get the plus two, so, so therefore... I cannot remove objectives. Yeah, you can't remove it. That's right. And what will the javelins do? I'm unsure of that myself at this moment. I feel like I should have enough firepower over there to kill that Contemptor, but then again, you never know. So yeah. I guess um, we'll just move it here. Now I only have one uh, shooting phase reaction. My extra reaction for my Warlord trade is actually in the Assault phase. So two reactions there. Mm. 
Okay, all right. So let's see if I'm... I just want to move these up a little bit, so just in case the multi-melters are still in range if I need it. No problem. Okay. I think that's it for my movement phase. Yep, and here comes the <coughs> counterpunch, a lot of shooting. Yep, let's get into shooting. The shooting and the tooting. Uh, let's start the shooting phase, Emperor's Children turn one. Okay. We'll just move down the ranks here, so this Land Raider is just gonna put one last cannon to that Rhino there. The Heavy Bolt are probably gonna hit the Rhino as well, I think that makes most sense, and then the other last cannon actually really has no target here. Okay. So let's do the last cannon, hitting on fours. That's one hit. Yep. That's a pen. Okay. And that is a five, so that's a wreck. Uh, well, oh, it's no, a no, six. It's a, that's a six. That's yeah, a plus one. Now, I do have intervening models, so I do get a six up cover save on this. Yep, that's right. Nope. So uh, it's just a mobilized, it's a mobilized and right. then it takes a whole point. Yep, and let's do the heavy bolter. Yep. That is one hit so far, but twin linked. That's one hit. Okay, uh, five to glance. Yep. <clears throat> that's nothing. Okay. Okay. What's next? Um, let's see. Let's see where to where to move from here. Um, I'm probably gonna do the the radio into your contemptor. I will go ahead and take that. Okay. All right. You doing the the multiple shots? The six shots. Yep. That's oh, right. Okay. So hitting on threes. Um, and I think this is the one that does not get hot. Okay. And that's three hits. And now force to wound with. Breaching, there's two invuls. Okay, so two breaching. Yep. So rolling those saves right here, five up from the shielding. And, ooh, wow. we spiked it. Uh-oh, Blood Angel dice coming <clears> through. <throat> <laughs> now I feel like I want to get some of those dice in return. Uh, let's do the heavy bolters, hitting on threes. Is it a twin link heavy bolter or two heavy bolters? It's two heavy bolters. Okay. And wounding on sixes. All right. That's nothing. Okay, what's next? The missile on top, three shots, hitting on threes. Two hits and winning on fives, nothing. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm getting lucky. Uh oh, uh -oh. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> That's not exactly what I had in mind here now, but okay. I, I guess I'll take it. Okay. Um, next up, let's do. Let's do the sun killers into the same target. At this point, I think it makes no difference. Okay. Uh, for that one, I will go ahead and return fire. That's what's to be expected, but at this point, I think no way for me to avoid that. So uh, six shots hitting on threes. Okay. And that's three hits. Uh-oh. That is three wounds. Okay. Three invulns. All right. So these are invulns. So once again, five ups on the shielding. Uh, no, all three go through this time. Okay. Finally doing some damage on that guy. He's got two left. But uh, he still has two left. Yep. I do have a return fire. So here's yep. the two shots for the return fire on threes twin linked. Yep. And twin linked. So that's two hits, killing on twos. That's one, cover save. One six up, let's do that. Nope. All right. We got one. That's another one down, I like it. Yep, that is another one down indeed. Okay. Um. Let's see, what's next? Let's do the javelins into the contemptor as well. Okay. So we'll start with the multi-melters, two shots on threes, twin linked, on fours actually, right? Yes. Yep. On fours. Yep. We have one hit and a three. That's one invul. Okay. Uh, do you want to do the rest of your shots first? I'll do sure. my little wound pool. Um, then the missile launchers, four shots, hitting on fours, and wounding on threes. Yep. So we got three armor saves. Okay. And the one invul. Okay. So here's the one invul on a five up. Yep. Uh, he does not get it, so he's down to one wound. Okay. Let's see if you can roll a one here for me and we'll any one, and he blows guy. up. Uh, is that good or you want to roll? I'm okay with that. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. All right. Well, ah, I'm down to one wound. One wound. <laughs> Surviving a lot more than I had expected here, to be very honest. Stay alive, Contemptor. Stay uh, alive. I don't think I have anything else that can realistically see or shoot him, so I guess I'll just have to take that. Okay. Um, as far as other shooting goes, you only have the one shooting reaction, right? That's correct. Hmm. So there's risk with my shooting that I may put myself further away from a charge, so I am actually going to forego that. Okay. Any right. out of the shooting at all or nothing? Uh, no. That's it. Ugh, I got lucky on that one. Let's see what happens if I'm as lucky in the assault phase. <laughs> yes. Critical now that I have these two assaults that connect that would allow me at least to probably kill off these two units. Um, yeah, a little bit of salvation. I'm sure here I will get a nice overwatch, obviously. No way for me to avoid that, unfortunately, but hey, we'll take, take it as it comes. Okay. All right. 
Let's start with this assault over here. Uh, so we measured it's a nine inch charge. Yes, and I'm going to react to that because I have two assault phase reactions, mm. so I will overwatch. Okay. All right. All right. You want to roll your distance? To sure, see let's matters. see. How far do we go? That's not a nine, that's a five. So Ooh. far from what's needed. So I will just shuffle up a couple of inches here. Okay. Well, I will have 20 shots coming back at you because this is uh, rapid fire range. Yep. So here's the first 10 of 20. Uh, still night fight on fours. And that's only three, four, five, so average. Second 10 of 20. And that's a bit better. So that one is six. So six and five is gonna give me 11 total hits. Mm -hmm. And four is to wound you with these. Uh, one, two, only three. Three? Three wounds, that's it. All right, let's see what we can do here. Three, two ups, and we're okay. Okay. All right, what's next? The more critical one. Yes, and I will use my second assault phase oh, reaction to overwatch there as well. Of course. All right, you want to just roll your distance? Yeah, let's see. We do get plus two to this roll, thanks to having jump packs here. Yep. And that's a seven plus two is nine. That should be plenty, plenty of inches to get me in. Yeah, so let me just do the overwatch. So we got 40 shots again. So here's the first 20 hitting on fours. A lot of dice. Let's pull the misses out of there. That's a good roll. That's not bad. That's 15 hits again. Or actually, excuse me, 14 hits again. Yep. And then the second 20. I'll roll that one again. It was on top. And for this one, that's also not a bad roll. Wow. Only missed four on that. That's 16. So 16 and 14 is going to be 30. Good job with them dice. I know. These are the loaded Blood Angels dice, apparently. They're actually new dice, so I'm shocked that they're doing this well. All right, so here's the 30 rolls to wound. Here's the first 15. Wounding on twos, rending on sixes. And we've got two rends. Mm -hmm. And four, eight, nine sit normal saves. All right. Second 15. We've got another three rends, so that brings us to five rends. Yep. And then we've got another two, four, six, eight plus 13. So five rends and 21 normal saves. 21 normal saves? Uh, sorry, no. It was 13, right? Yes, 13 plus 8 is 21. Yes, because I only had 5 rolls that didn't wound you out of 30. So 8 rents and 13 normal? No, no, no. 5 rents, okay. 21 normal. Okay. So 26 total wounds out of 30. Okay, okay. Yep. yep, 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 I gotcha. Yep. Wow, that's actually pretty brutal. I'm not sure if that squad is actually going to survive this. Okay. So 5 rents. Yes. Um, that one, we're just going to have to take the film of pain. Uh, so that takes three. Okay. <coughs> Let's keep the front guy alive. And then 21. Yep. Okay. You want, you want to spike some of these? Yeah, I think at this point I'm going to have to try and tank it on... Probably I will do the sergeant now. So let's see how many we can tank here. One. Two. Three. Don't do it, Paul. Four. Okay, we'll I'll take the rest on the squad. Okay. Uh, so that's another 17. 17. Yep, okay. 17. <clears throat> so I got 10 dice here on threes. <clears throat> Let's do these three little pains. <clears throat> so that's three thus far at another seven. Okay. So you got one final pain. Okay, feels pain. So four in total. That actually, I mean, it's painful, but at least there's something of that squad alive. I, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yep. So one. They're still gonna make contact. Two. I probably gonna have to remove the apothecary now due to, to having to maintain coherency. You're still gonna make your charge. Yeah, so you don't have I to think worry about that. Fine. You're charging in. So you just might lose a power weapon and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Two, three, four. You got one more, I think. Yep. There okay. you go. Okay. And then you're going to move your nine in. Yep. Wow. There is not that much of that squad left. Yeah, but I still think with, an, with a sergeant and with a power <laughs> weapon and with a chaplain there, you're probably still going to butcher that squad. <clears throat> Hopefully. <laughs> now, I am fearless thanks to my right of war. Mm. I'm fearless until the second turn. That actually is very handy now. So I could potentially hang on here. Let's see what happens. I think it's likely I don't have that many attacks there, actually. Okay, well, you still got to uh, do your pile in yep. with the initiative step, so... Yep. And that's initiative five, is that correct? 
this is initiative six, initiative five, and initiative two. Okay. So he he yeah, he would be back a bit. There you go. So you want to resolve your six first? Yep. Yes, Hammer of Wrath. That would be two only, the ones that were initially in base to base contact, right? That's correct. So yeah. two on the fours. That's one regular save. Okay. And we're good. Okay. Uh, all right, let's start. Sixes are being kind to me so far. Of course. Do you have a sergeant there? I do have a sergeant. I shall issue a challenge with my... Um... Initiative six guy? Yep. Okay. Uh, basically, it's just the guy with the fanciest armor. So sure. we'll switch that out like that. There you go. All right. Okay. Let's do three attacks, hitting on fours. But I get to reroll this thanks to the chaplain there. Yep. Okay, that's three hits. And a wounding on twos, and sixes are rending. That is three AP3 saves. Okay, well, he's just dead because, uh, well, no, I did give him artificers, so excuse me about that. So let me roll these one at a time. First one, second one, he's dead. Okay. And then you'll do one more wound that counts towards combat resolution. Sure. Okay, what's next? Um, we'll do two, these two guys there with the power weapons. Okay. So that's six attacks in total, hitting on fours. Um, and this is the initiative of five. Okay. I think that was a Yeah, that was a hit. Over. Yep, yep. So force to wound. Okay. So that's one more wound at AP3. Okay, that's just going to be another guy down. And, and now you get the... Total wounds to three. Then you I get, get to, to pile me. in. Yep. All right. So I don't have a sergeant, but I do have seven guys left. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be seven attacks. Weapon skill, same. So I'm hitting you on fours. Okay, well, not bad. Not bad. We might take somebody down with us. And then wounding you on fours. Uh, that's going to be three wounds, sir. Sure. Uh, I guess we'll take that on the sergeant. Two up. Well, he's in a challenge, right? Oh, yeah, he can't take it, yeah, right? Yeah, so, so that's just on a normal a guy. guy. Okay, so you kill one guy. Yep. The last one. Okay. Okay. And now your chaplain piles in. Yep, that's right. Okay, and that's five attacks. Hitting yep. on threes. With re-rolls. Yep, that's nope. right. Doesn't even need, need it. it here. And winning on threes as well with his power axe. Okay. So that's four more killed. Okay. So that's another four down. But you stay there. But I stay there because we're fearless. So you did win combat by at least five. But uh, again, we're fearless. So we're just stuck there. I'll take that. That's not bad. So to be honest, this also didn't quite go as I had planned. I would have liked to connect this charge. I would like to wipe that unit so I can consolidate onto the objective. Now, I'm kind of stuck a little bit, but it's okay. That's, I guess, how the game goes. Yeah, the Overwatch there was pretty brutal for you. Yes, that was uh, some, some good dice rolling. Yeah, let's see what happens in turn two, because this is going to get really messy as a mass of jump pack Blood Angels are about to enter the playing field. That's right. All right, so end of uh, Emperor's Children turn one. I am on two objectives, which I do potentially score now. So I basically need four ups on these dice in order to score anything there. On yeah. one to three, they're pretty much worthless. Yeah, the defender scores zero on one to three, and I think one on four to six, correct? That's right. So let's see. Please give me two four ups, and we have one. Okay. So I get a point for that. That is correct. So that brings us to a score of three for the Blood Angels, one for the Emperor's Children, and we're about to start turn two. Yep. So for the beginning of turn two for the Blood Angels, because of the Day of Revelation Rite of War, the marker is basically where my first unit goes. The first model that goes down has to be within six inches of the marker. And then we would bring the rest of the units. But because it is a deep strike assault, I still need to see if I mishap for the second unit. So because I've got so many units in the army that are actually doing the deep strike, we're going to roll for you to see if I mishap, and then we'll come back afterwards for the placement. So let's see if it's a mishap. What do you think, Paul? Would you I be think you'll cheering be good for a mishap here. I'm sure you'll be just dandy and fine. I'm fine. That's another six. So we'll oh, be back in just a minute with all the deployments. Okay, so after what seemed like 30 minutes of model positioning, uh, we finally resolved the deep strike assault, and there was eight units that were coming down, so it got pretty clunky. I'll go in order of what actually came down. So the first unit was this unit, this assault squad, which daisy chained back over here to where the six inches of the objective. The second unit that came in was this 10-man assault squad here. So far, Paul hasn't reacted to either one. The third unit that came in was the Contemptor and Candius right here. And Paul, you did react to that. Is that correct? 
Yep, that's right. That guy at least is going to be welcomed with five last cannons. Um, maybe can take off some wounds there. From the Sun Killers, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. The fourth unit that came down is the nine-man uh, squad here, the Angel's Tears, and you've elected to react to them as well? That's right. And they just look like a perfect target for a big plasma pie plate there, so... We'll see how much we can wipe off the squad. May it deviate in your favor. <laughs> All right. The fifth unit that came down, since I don't have to worry about any more reactions, is actually the two javelins have dropped down over here so they can pick their choice of targets. The next unit that came down was the Praetor with the Dawnbreakers have come down here ready to make a charge into the enemy lines. And finally, the last unit that came down is another mass of assault marines, 15-man strong, no apothecary, they came down right here, so they have a choice if they want to go after the javelins, if the javelins still happen to be there in the assault phase. So, all of that being said, I can now uh, let you do your reactions, your interceptors. Sure. Okay. Is there anything that I need to roll for pinning now? I think... You do have some pinning checks, yes. So, mm -hmm. units within, uh, I believe it's what, six inches? Six inches, yeah. Uh, of any of the deep striking units need to be pinned. Uh, your banner squad over there is fearless, so That's they're right. not pinnable. These guys are in combat, so they're not, right. not pinnable. You're, they're fearless as well. They're fearless, they're not pinnable. Harbingers and, of the Legion, I think they're fearless as well. And this over here, uh, maybe you can just check for me if that tax squad's within six inches. I don't think it is. Uh, let's see. Looks like just out. Uh, I think it's just out. Yep, so okay. no pinning. So no pinning. No pinning. All right, let's do the reactions. Okay, you want to start it with the Sun Killers and Team sure. Candius? We'll start with that. Five last cannons here. And it's still night out, we did roll for that, so these are hitting on threes. And that is actually five hits. Okay. And winning on twos. And that is five invulns. Ouch. All right, well, they're making up for their poor rolling in the previous phase. That's right. All right, so here's five ups on the Incandius. And he passes two, so he takes three wounds. Okay. So that leaves him with three. I'll take that, I'll take that. Okay, and uh, you also had then the... Yep. Let me get my pie plate. Yeah, so we're going to put a big pie plate here in just a middle. In just a minute. I didn't have any choice. I had to stay within 12 inches of the first unit that came down. Hopefully it will not deviate onto your guys. But um, I'm, I'm saying that with a grain of salt. Unfortunately, I do not have a Nuncio Vox in this army. So I'll just have to roll a full scatter here. Okay. And see how it goes. That is on target. Okay. Perfect. So what we got there, we have, that is four, two, three, four, seven in total. Okay. All right. And what is this? Strength? Strength eight, AP four, bre breaching four up. Does it get hot? It does get hot. Okay. Let me see if I roll one. Nope. Okay. Okay. So let's say eight, right? Okay. Okay. And now I'm looking for fours. Uh, twos are winning, but fours is a breaching actually. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty juicy. So we have one normal wound and six breaching. Ouch. Okay. So for the one normal wound, I'm going to go ahead and just take this on the Arch Erlen. So that's a two up save. Okay, he passes. And then there's six breaches. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be no choice but to kill guys. Let's kill one, two, three. And then I'll kill two of the assault cannons. So it's going to be five total dead. Or six total, correct? Six, six yes, breaches? Right. My fault. Let me get that one. Okay. All right. All right. What's next? Is let's that all the intercepts? Let's do the heavy bolters that he has. Okay. His other weapons. So these hit on threes. And wound on threes as well. Yep. So that's another four normal wounds. Okay. I'm going to try these one at a time on the archer limb. That's save, 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 and save. Okay. All right. Our last gun is missiles on the top. Okay. Hit on three, uh, hit on threes, and wound on twos. That's one AP three wound. Okay. We'll try this on the Arch Erlum again. So this is another two up artificer, and he's good. Okay. So it was a reaction, therefore I don't have to worry about break check or, right. or anything like that. So That's ouch. Right. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty deadly. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come back in just a minute. I still have some other moves that I need to make after we've resolved this massive uh, deep strike assault. Okay, so for the rest of the movement, it was short and sweet. There was only three things that could move. I ran the tax squad. My heroes that scored the first objective have now run onto a second objective, hopefully to get me maybe another three points in the scoring. We'll see. Uh, the Rhino with the assault cannon that the heavy support squad was in just backed up. We're probably going to end up shooting at the javelins. And then my, my wounded hero over here on the left, the hero of the Blood Angels, he's down to one wound. He's going to sell his life dearly, and he advanced 
really, really quickly. So now let's get into some shooting. And I'm gonna go ahead and start Paul, I think, with uh, the wounded hero. <coughs> sure. And the wounded hero is going to shoot at your sun killers. Yeah, sure. Um, I. It feels like it's a little bit of a waste, but I will return to this just so that I can finish him off. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I don't have a flamer temp, but I'm just gonna see if the flamer's within an eight, eight inches. It is, it's just one guy. Sure. He's got a flamer in his fist. Uh, all right, so this is a heavy flamer wounding on a three. No wound. And then this is the Gravis Melta Cannon on threes because it's still night fight, but it's twin linked. Nope, just one. And to kill on a two. All right, one Six cover up. safe serve. Nope. One dead. Six ups don't work as well for me as they do for you. Nope, apparently Seemingly. not. You don't have the loaded Blood Angel dice. Nope. So that is five last cannons in return. Mm -hmm. That is four hits. Okay. And that's three involves. Okay. Let's uh, finish this guy off, please. Yeah, it's his last wound. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's dead. But just by the nick of it. Yes, I actually <laughs> passed two. Uh, but uh, you're no, nobody's within six inches, yeah, so I we don't got to worry about the explosion. Yep. Okay. Next thing I'm going to shoot, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the... Let's shoot the angel's tears into your cacophony. Okay. Do you want to react to this? I have no more reactions, so... Okay. All right, so the Angel's Tears, we've got uh, eight shots with the Assault Cannons. All right, so hitting you on fours, because they're only Ballistic Skill of four. So here we go, Night Fight. Uh, not too hot, that's only three hits. Two hits. When you go on twos with sixes rending, uh, just two normal saves. Two normal saves, okay. Yep. Um, sure, let's tank these on a two up and a two up. We're okay. Okay, and then we've got the twin plasma pistols of the Arch Erlen. So these are also hitting you on fours. They do get hot. Uh, no gets hot, but only one hit. Wounding you on a two with breaching four up. And yep, that's going to be a breach. We'll take on one guy in cover on a six. Nope. Okay. One guy All right. bites the dust. Next, I'm going to shoot uh, the heavy sports squad assault cannon into your javelins. Do you want to react to that? Oh, you can't. That's right. Sorry, right. my fault. <laughs> hitting you on... I wish I could. Yeah, that's right. I keep trying to give you more shooting phase reactions. I appreciate it. Hitting on fours. Unfortunately, these are not Imperial Fists. No. And wounding you on the top of six. So fours with six is rending. Yep. Uh, just one rend, sir. But you uh, do have an intervening model. Six, six up. up. Nope. No cover saves. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, they don't get cover saves. So yep. just take a wound. Just take a wound. Okay. Uh, my other Rhino tried to restart itself, so no shots there. Yep. Uh, let's go next into the, uh, let's go ahead and do the assault squad of 15 here is going to put all of its bolt pistols into the javelins as well. Sure. Okay. So I got 15 shots coming at you. Yep. All right. Hitting you on fours. See what happens. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. So that's pretty average, but I need sixes to wound you here. Strength four. Uh, just one, Paul. One normal armor save for the javelin. One three up, and he takes another wound. Okay. Next up, I'm going to do the Contemptor and Candius. I'm going to do him into your Land Raider. Okay. Okay, he's got twin assault cannons in the fists. Okay. All right, so these are hitting on threes because he's normally hitting on twos, but it's night fight. So eight shots. And, oh, not bad. That's actually seven hits. Now, I'll strike six, but I'm fishing for those wrens to try and do anything. So let's see if I get any sixes. Uh, wow. wow. There's, uh, there's three. <laughs> and then let's say D3 on each of these. I'm at strength 12 so far. That's right. So you need a three at least. So that's... there's two glances. Wow. And one pen. And one pen. That's pretty brutal. That is. Let's see what happens with the pen. It is a... Uh, it's just a Oops. shake any which you ignore. Yeah. So just three hull points. Three hull points from that guy. That's impressive. Okay. Yeah, not bad. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Okay, next up, I'm going to do the javelins. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put those into the... Let's put them into your Daredale. Actually, no. I'm going to put these into your front rhino, because I'm going to try and explode it. Okay. okay. You do that? Yep. So, two last cannon shots. They're, two, they're one each or two each? I can't remember. I've never played with the last cannon version. Two, two separate shots, yep. Okay. All right, and they're not twin length, correct? No, just two shots left, kind of, yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, that's both going to miss. 
Oh, no, no, two shots each. Okay, so here's the second. Yeah, yep. thank you. All right, so just one hit. Yep. Strength nine. Uh, what is that? A two? A, that's a glance. Yep. Do you have intervening models? Sure, I'll take a six up. Nope. Okay, and then here is the two multi multi shots, which are twin-linked. Uh, one hit, twin-linked. So two hits. Yep. So strength eight, I'm not in melta range. Uh, so that's going to be a pen, another yep. cover save for you. Six up. Nope. Okay, and then let's see if we blow you up. No, nope. it just goes to a four, so that's going to be stunned. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I think, actually, I'm probably going to stop there because I don't want to make any of my charges further. Okay. All right, uh, we'll come back in just a moment. I don't think you owe me any break checks either. Uh, no. Don't believe so. No, I don't think so. So, okay, we'll come back and assault in just a moment. Yep. All right, so we have a lot of assaults. We're going to roll these assaults one at a time on the camera because some of these are going to be pretty incredibly pivotal. So we're going to start with this one here. Now, this one doesn't really matter because you're already engaged, so just rolling. Yep. So, yeah, so a nine, they're going to be in. For my second charge, I'm going to actually charge the chaplain and his big blob of assault marines into your command squad. Did you yep. want to react to that? Yes, so here I will make use of the Empress Children's special reaction, which means we are effectively going to roll off to see who gets the higher charge. Okay. I know I'm at a disadvantage here because he has the jump packs, he gets plus two, but it's no guts, no glory. Let's we'll see what happens. Roll it off. Uh, yeah, yep. you, you got this one, so... Yeah. Okay, so then they're going to make it. Yep. Uh, I got 10 over there, if you could just mark that for me, please. Sure. Okay, and then I don't think you have any other reactions, so that's we'll it. just roll through this. So the Angel's Tear is here. Uh, so that's going to be six total with jump packs. Yep. And Assault Marines here into the Javelins. Yep. Uh, it's going to be nine with jump packs. The Incandius is charging into the Wounded Land Raider. So this one gets plus one. And I rolled a seven, so that's going to be eight for the Incandius, if you don't mind marking that for me. <laughs> and then finally... We've got the command, or excuse me, the Dawnbreakers with the Praetor are going to go here into the Cacophony. Uh, we do have a modifier because we're going through difficult terrain, but we have jump packs, and yeah, we're going to do wow nine on that one as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just like with the Deep Strike Assault, it's probably better if we move all of this mess uh, off camera, and then we'll come back to you in just a moment and start with the assault. So getting the assault party started for the Blood Angels, we're going to do the easy one first. That's the Contemptor and Candius into the Land Raider. So he has five attacks on the charge. Uh, because of only weapon skill one on vehicles, he's hit on twos. All five hit. And then these are strength nine. So we're fishing for fives and sixes on these. And not a single one. Wow. So that That's was pretty surprising. That was pretty worthless. Okay, <laughs> next up, let's go into the 15 man assault squad with a poth carrier that charged into your javelins. Yep. Two, four, six, eight, looks like 10 are going to have Hammer of Wraths. Yep. And these are strength four, so on sixes for these Hammer of Wraths. Uh, just one, sir. Yep. Normal save. Three up. It's okay. Okay. Um, why don't you get your attacks out of the way first, because we're all the same initiative except for sure. my axe. So. I think they have two attacks each? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And the same weapon skill, so fours. Hitting on fours, and wounding on fours, that's one wound. Uh, Reroll one, because you do come with chain swords. You oh, do have shred. I do get chain swords, You do get chain swords, yes. That's still just one. Okay, so one save for me. I'm going to go ahead and take this on a three-up guy. And it passes. There's with that, the six, There's of that course. six again. Of course, the... That one that we've seen so much of this game. Yes, yeah, so let's do the swords and the axes first, because that's what gonna, really is going to make the difference. I got one, two, three guys with swords. So each one of them is going to have three attacks for the swords. Yep. That's nine. Okay. And then these are hitting you on fours. Yep. No re-rolls or anything like that. Uh, not too good, so only two hits. Yep. These are normally wounding you on sixes, but because of the Blood Angels Legion trade, Correct. I actually want five. Yep. Uh, nothing. It adds up to five. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here's the sergeant with an axe. Okay. So he has four attacks on the charge. Yep. All right. So hitting you once again on fours. Uh, just one hit. Yep. And wounding you on a four. four yep. So, yep, yeah, that's one AP2. So that's okay, another one wound. wound. Okay. There's a die there somewhere. Yeah, I think you had uh, one guy on two wounds. Yes, one guy was on two. So he's now on one. On one. Yep, one last leg. Okay, so now here's where it gets messy. So there's, uh, aside from the axes and swords, there's 11 other guys with three attacks each. Yep, That's 33. 33. Plus the apothecary is going to have another 
three, so right. 36. 36. Okay, so here's the first 20 on fours. And one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, not very good. Wow. And then we're gonna roll 13 more. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So only 10, 10 hits with all of that. Mm -hmm. And now these are chain swords. So once again, instead of sixes, fives, and with shred. Uh, one, two, so far. Mm -hmm. This is not a very uh, very good assault. And, well, there's the shred. That helps out. Uh, four, five total wounds, sir. Five in total, all right. Five three-ups, and that kills up one javelin and puts the other one on one wound. Not sure, do javelins explode? I don't think they do, right? No, javelins don't explode. Um, you, do, uh, you do lose the combat. That's right, but I think javelins are fearless. Are they fearless? I believe so. Fearless like, or stubborn? Why don't we uh, take a minute and we'll check that. Sure. So yeah, we double checked just to make sure there was nothing there that makes them fearless. They're not, so uh, it's uh, testing on a minus three for the wounds and then night fight minus four. So we need to roll a four here, which we don't get. That's oh. a nine. Okay, then we got an initiative roll off. Yep. At five. And you do run me down. Okay. I'll move all the consolidates after because we have other combats to do. Yep. All right, let's go to next to this one. So yep. this one, uh, did you want to issue a challenge? Uh, you are the one who has to issue a challenge, right? You. Oh yeah, I charged. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and issue a challenge. With your? I have uh, just a sergeant there with an axe. Sure, I'll accept that with my sergeant. Okay, so we'll just move these around real quick. Okay, uh, I think you're gonna have an initiative above me. Yep, I think that's initiative five with uh, re rather that reach. Yeah, but let me yep. do the hammer of wrath. I actually forgot. Sure. Okay, so I got two, four, six. So that's just uh, six guys that made the Hammer of Wrath on fours. And four wounds, Paul. Yep, okay. Four wounds, huh? Okay. Um... Your choice who you want to take it on. Thing is, I feel like my chaplain probably isn't going to get to fight anyway, so I might as well try and tank it on him. Okay. Two up. Nope, he dead. Oh my gosh. Of course. That's unbelievable. I think he has taken two saves and both were ones. <laughs> yes, he's not, uh, apparently he's... No, not for this world. No, he's not. And then the others, um, I guess we'll take it on the normal guy. Three up, three up. Nope, he also dead. And the last one on sergeant, he's left. Okay. All right, so uh, your sergeant is going to go first in the challenge, right? Yep, let's nope. see if I can at least spear your sergeant on fours. One hit. And that is a normal save. Okay, so he's got a two up for. Actually, no, this squad doesn't have artificer. Oh, then it's a uh, then it's killed. Then it's he's a just killed. Three up. Okay, so he's down then. Yep. All right, then we do all the initiative four. I can also in. just remove him if you prefer. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. I mean, that's a, like thirty attacks. Yeah, I think it's. I'll roll a one eventually. I, I have confidence in my ability to roll once right <laughs> <Okay>. now. <laughs> all right. Hmm. So then let's move to the next one. That's going to be the big scrum over there with yep. with uh, the command squad and the chaplain and my squad. Yep. Uh, I am going to not issue a challenge. Okay, that's fine with me as well. Okay. So we'll do the hammer of wraths. Can you count for me how many guys made base? That is five over here. 10, 12 in total. 12 in total? Yep. Okay. So let's get 12 dice ready. So strength four, we're going to go on fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Yep. Okay. So six two ups. And we got one guy taking a wound. Okay. Uh, I've got a chaplain. The chaplain has a, a spear of perdition. Mm hmm. Uh, he's initiative five, and then I just need to double check to make sure that the spear is not uh, reach or anything like that. I don't think the, the spear is, but let me just check. Okay, yeah, it does have reach, okay. so that's going to make him an initiative six. Mm. Spicy. Juicy. Three attacks char uh, base, and then he charged, so that's going to be four attacks. And he's weapon skill, same as your command squad. That's right, weapon skill five. Okay, so four is what we get to reroll for hatred. Uh, that's one hit, and then re-rolling. Okay, three hits. All right. And then this spear is strength plus one, so that's going to be strength five. I need threes, but because of the Blood Angel rule, I need twos. Yep. Um, it's only AP three, but it's Brutal two. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that's going to be uh, four saves for the Brutal two. Okay. These are normal saves, because it's only two AP three. Two. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, okay. First two is fine. Second two, you kill one. Okay. And then the rest of my stuff is initiative four. And I think yours is initiative four as well. Yep, that's right. Initiative four. I have two lightning claws here. Um, How sure. does, you want to do yours? Get them out of the way? Yeah, I'll do mine. That's four attacks. Hitting on fours. And wounding on fours with shred. Kill two. Okay. Uh, I do have an apothecary there. So let's take the apothecary saves. Yep. Five ups. Uh, one. So I have down one so far. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have anything else there besides the two lightning claws? Initiative one. Okay. So I've got... Should be three guys with axes, and uh, those are going to be last. So I got one guy with a sword. Yep. Okay, so the guy with a sword is going to have three attacks on the charge. Hitting on fours, but re-rolling. Actually hitting on fives, because you are a command squad. Mm, that's Re right. Reroll. So two hits. And strength four normally needs fours, but goes to threes, and then six is rend. Okay, so just one normal wound so far in your wound pool. Okay. And then I have, besides that, I have 12 other guys with chain swords with that's fine. three attacks each. So that's going to be 18 times 2, so 30, 36. Three attacks times 12. So here's the first 18. And then we've got uh, lots of re-rolling for hatred. And with the re-rolls for hatred, the first 18, that's going to be 15 hits. Yep. And the second 18... And these are all, again, just chain swords. So 15 so far. And then the re-rolls for hatred. Are you still hitting on fives? Uh, actually, I messed that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to count this as the first roll. Sure. If you're okay with that? Sure. Okay. Six, eight. Sorry, I forgot about the fives. No problem at all. Uh, so 11 hits for the first batch. Yep. And then let me re-roll this again. And then hatred. Still pretty decent. Still ridiculous. Still pretty it's these loaded Blood Angel oh, dice. Was oh, that two failed? <laughs> uh, that would be five fails, so 13. So 13 and eight, right? Yep, so you got 21 hits. Okay, so 21 hits. That's a lot of fives and sixes. Wow. These are brand new dice. They should wow. not be doing this. Wow. I'm very impressed. Yes, yeah, so here uh, I'll do this 21 dice with yep. shred. <clears throat> roll that again. Okay, and then let's re roll the shreds for the chain swords. Those are all hits. And let's get this all out of the way. This is a mountain of dice. Sorry, people. It's taking a long time. 4, 8, 12, 14 saves, sir. 14. Okay, I got 10 dice here. Let's do these 10. Those are all good. And we'll do another 4. Uh-oh. 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 Cock that one. Those are also all good. 14 uh, saves. Uh, all right, all right. So now we go to initiative one. Uh, I like that. I oh. like that. Now I do have axes. Yep. Okay, so each guy with three attacks, and there's three of them. So yep. that's nine total. Mm hmm. Hitting you on fives or rerolls. Come on, axes. This is where I need you to shine. And we've got one so far. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And here we've got two three okay i'll take that i'll take that okay so normally threes but blood angels twos yep uh you owe me two in sir two in okay i'll take that two five ups nope one take another wound okay so i've only done uh three wounds in three, total. three wounds in total i've only done one so far though that's correct um let's take this on might as well take it on the delegatus okay so um Delegatus, four attacks with the Thunder Hammer, okay. hitting on threes, and then killing on twos. Yep. There's three dead. Okay, that's four total so far. And then there's one um, Chain Fist. Yep. Hitting on threes. And I killed another one. Okay, so that's five total dead. And you did three wounds. Yep. So I win by two, but... Uh, I'm stubborn ten. Stubborn ten, yep. Remember, uh, chaplains are no longer that's fearless. That's right. Give me an 11. Some salvation in this Let's game. Let's see what please. happens. That would be poetic <laughs> justice. Uh, no. So when you wanted me to roll sixes, I can't. So no, that's going to be a uh, drawn combat over there with five casualties. Okay. All right. Let's go into the big mess. Going to be here, which is uh, going to be a mountain of, uh, of attacks and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start with challenges. I'm going to issue a challenge with my Praetor. Uh, do, do the uh, Hammer of Wrath and the, um, the Dangerous Terrain first, please. Ah, okay. So let me do the Dangerous Terrains. 
So I've got, uh, what, 11 guys from the Dawnbreakers plus the... Yeah, and I think three will three are okay to be out. The remainder will be in. Okay, so eight guys. Yep. All right, so on ones, they take a wound with only damage mitigation or in, no, inbone left. Yep. No inbones. So, hey, I don't lose anybody on the charge in. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So now for the Hammer of Wraths, uh, did everybody make base or no? Um, You probably have two, six, seven. Yep. Okay. And then I'll just get the uh, Angel's yep. Tears as well. So 10 in total. 10 in total. Okay. On fours. Uh, two, three, four. Four? Yep. Okay. Four. I'll tank this on the sergeant. So two up. Nope, he's dead, of course. And three ups. <laughs> oh no, Paul. Uh, they live. Okay. So just one dead? Yep. The sergeant's out. Okay. Well, then there's no uh, no reason to do a, a challenge since you don't That's have right. a sergeant. Uh, let me go ahead and start then with the Praetor. Yep. He's going to use his Paragon Blade. Mm -hmm. He has four tax base. Uh, he has a Thunder Hammer and a Paragon Blade for an extra attack. And then he has a charge bonus, so six. Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting you on threes. Uh, he does not have Master Crafting, and there's no Hatred. Okay, that's going to be four hits. Yep. Strength five, so this would be wounding you normally on threes, but Blood Angel's wounding you on twos. Yep. And it's all AP2. Uh, that's going to be three dead so far. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then the next thing I have is I have a bunch of spears. They have reach one. There's five guys with spears. So each one of them has three attacks on the charge. That's 15. Yep. Okay. So 15 attacks from the spears, hitting you on threes because these are weapon skill five. No rerolls. Okay, wow, that's all, that's all hitting. And then <laughs> these are going to be wounding you on twos because of the spear plus one and then blood angels, and it's all AP3 or better. So... Yeah, I think that's going to take care of the squad. Yep, that's the squad, as was to be expected here, to be honest. Yeah, I uh, I don't know uh, anybody that could probably make that charge and take the charge, except for maybe Eidolon and his squad, which we might be seeing in just a moment. Well, I sure hope so. Okay, well, we've resolved all the combats now. I got to say, for the Blood Angels, it was pretty effective. Uh, it would have been nice to win another combat, but I think Paul's uh, probably happy that didn't happen. And At least one combat. Let's not be greedy. Uh, <laughs> so I'll just have to come back in just a moment and do all of the various consolidations. Yep. Okay, so we've resolved all the consolidates for the various victorious combats. Basically, <clears throat> salt cannons came back towards the Rhino, and then we spread out the various units and got as close as we can to the TAC Marines so that if there's any plasma coming my way, then uh, it might make it a little bit more risky. The last thing to resolve on turn two is we do have the tactical squad which ran their victorious ways towards that objective marker and we need to see what happens with it. And rolling here and again, plus two for the attacker on this roll. So three goes to five and that's gonna be one point. And the objective marker stays there. So that brings us to four one for the Blood Angels and we'll be back in just a second with turn two for the Emperor's Children. All right, uh, turn to Empress Children. This was pretty bad. It could have gone worse. Like, this squad is still alive. The Land Raider is still alive. So, I mean, it looks pretty bad right now and probably is, but it's actually not as bad as it can get. You still Maybe have... if I can bring in the Palantine Blades now, I can yeah, turn it around. Yeah, and Eidolon. They could turn things around. So, let's see. I need a 3 plus here. It's a 2, of course. Oh, if, my if, gosh. If, if it rains, it pours. So, um, hmm, not quite. There's the lesson, right? Like either bring a right, if you have something powerful that's deep striking, either bring a massive signal or have a right of war, such as they have a relation because otherwise you're gonna be screwed like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm feeling very bad for you, Paul, because actually everything that could go good for me has happened and everything that could go bad for you has also happened. That's right. Uh, let's see what happens with this turn and see if you can turn it around. Sometimes just like that. Okay, let's start moving. Yep, there you go. Okay. There's a tape measure All right. for you. Alright, thank you. Yep. So this guy will just back off slightly, pivot, and go unload into this fella. Okay. Um, This guy can repair, right? You can. Uh, well, you can, uh, if you're immobilized, it's about a four up at the oh, beginning of the stunned, turn. right? Yeah, I think he's just stunned. That's yeah. right, that's right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. There's still an objective marker on this side of the table as there well. There is an objective marker Don't on Don't forget about that table. one, and I've got nothing near it. <laughs> Mm 
I think it's going to come down to playing the points game. It does look like it's going to be down to the points game indeed. Hmm. Yeah, saw that coming. Oh, let's just back up a little bit. That way he could movement react more guys onto the objective, but hmm, it's a tricky one. I might just stay put there. He's just gonna change his facing to look more menacing right now. Okay, yeah, good idea because I can react in the movement phase. That's right. So I think that's actually all my movement. Let's get into the shooting. Okay. Uh, let's start shooting. So as expected, obviously, we're gonna start here with the Land Raider into your Incendius. The Heavy Bolt is going to just pick on some Assault Marines. Okay, uh, I'm not going to react to any of that. Okay, let's do the last cannons. And it's still dark, right? It's so still turn two, it's still dark. <clears throat> we're still hitting on fourth here. And that is two hits. Okay. Wounding on twos. And that's two invulns. Okay, so here's the five up invulns for the shielding. Uh, we pass one, there's the infamous Blood Angel six. So and one more wound. Course. It's down to two. Yep. And let's do the heavy bolter into the assault squad on fours. Twin links as well. I'll hit and on threes, that is three wounds. Okay. So I'm gonna just take these on regular guys. So three ups, I do have an apothecary there. Uh, we fail one and then the apothecary save. It's an infamous Blood Angel 6. Of course. Of course. Of course it of is. Course. What else are we expecting at this point? These right? are new dice. I promise I they're new dice. You. I swear I these sure are brand, I brand new you. dice. All right, let's move over to the more interesting side of the table. Okay. Um, what we're going to start with is... Now, let me just remind you before you start shooting. You do have the special reaction where you shoot. I shoot and you can charge. That's correct. I do recall you have such, such nonsense. Now, I mean, to be honest, I mean, if you were going to try and like shoot here to yeah, there, I no can't charge. Yeah, to charge. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so... That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, but for the fun of it, let's start with furying into these three guys there. Okay. So that's 30 shots. Yep. I'm going to... Mm, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just let that go through. It's only three guys. There's no sense in returning fire. So generous of you. Yes. So that's nine dice here. <laughs> well, I'm missing one of the tainted dice. Okay, perfect. Um, well, I'll put another die here. Okay. All right. So I'll do this three times. Yep. 30 shots. Indeed. Um, yep. Three. Fours. Hitting on fours. That's not too bad. That looks pretty good. So yeah, that, that's that seven was a hits. Hit. Yep. Seven so far. Yep. And that is six hits. Okay. Oh, sorry. Five, Five hits. Okay. Yep. So you're at 12. That's 12. And the last set. That is four. So we're at 16. 16. Yep. yep. So I'll do eight twice. Okay. On fours. Yep. Winning on fours. And that's two so far okay and then the second set that is three so just five five total okay i'm mm. going to try to tank these on the arch erland's artificer armor yep one of course two of course three four and five sorry paul <sighs> when it rains it pours yeah i mean i, I honestly honestly wanted a one there <laughs> okay um now, in view of that, I feel like I have no other option besides last cannoning that squad. Yeah, I think so, so as well. Um, we'll do the Sun Killer, same target, hitting I, on threes. I'm going to go ahead and return fire, might as well. No, that makes sense. I only hit once. Okay. <laughs> so, we we'll steam one guy. Okay. Uh, do I get a yeah, you'll, intervening? Sure, you'll get a six up cover safe there. All right. Well, don't say that. It's, uh, it's the uh, Blood Angels dice. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, my God. This game is really... Um... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm oh, so sorry. That's fine. A at least it's quick. Um, quick and painless. All right. Well, now for the return fire. Yep. Uh, these do get hot when the uh, fire does a reaction. So here's the right. assault cannons. First one, uh, that's going to be three hits. Yep. And the second one, because it's still night fight, uh, no hits and it gets hot. Does he kill himself? No. So three hits, wounding on yep. twos with sixes rending. Uh, one red, one normal, sir. Uh, we'll do the six up cover save um, and the normal armor save. And of course, you kill two. All right, well, you got some plasma pistols too. All right, so these are four. Yep. Gets hot. Uh, no gets hot, but one hit. Yep. Two to wound with a breaching four and another breach. So and another, another Blood Angel six. Six up cover save. And of course not. And there. The successful shooting of the Sun Killers killed nothing and get three killed in return. I have never seen your Sun Killers do this. They've always destroyed a lot. They have. I See, now if you'd asked 
I guess the man of the match will have to be the Deradio. The only, the only upper children that killed anything so far. So, <sighs> okay, let's do the Deradio. You're in the big pipeline um, again? Yeah, I think that's the best choice given its strength 8. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. Let's go somewhere here where I at least probably will get 5. Okay, I trust your judgment. You just roll it. That's on target. Yeah, at least somebody's doing the job. Okay, so 5? Yep, 5. And 2 is wounding, 4 are breaching. I like that. That's 1 normal wound and 4 breaching. Okay, alright. Well, for the normal wound, I'll take it on a 2 up. Yep. Don't they all have two ups? Uh, they do all have two ups, okay. but uh, the breaching is breaching two, right? What do you mean breaching two? It's AP two. It's AP two and strength eight. Yep. So for that, all I get is the six up intervening models for yep. the four breaches. And nope. So that's gonna be four dead. Ah, uh, finally. I mean, not like it'll make a huge difference at this point, but at least it's a little bit of a feel good moment here. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty nasty shot, but there was so much only so much I could do to spread out. You got anything yep. else? Yes, there's more weapons coming from the, the boy over here. Okay, we know we got we'll four dead so far. Do the heavy bolters on threes, okay. and that's two hits. Wow. <laughs> um, uh, two normal wounds. Okay, so here we go. So these are just two ups, and we're good. And another six, of course. And another and the three from six. the missile at the top. That's three hits, wounding on two, uh, two more normal saves. Okay, so two more normal saves for the missiles. And nope, we're good. Yep. All right. Uh, any other thing to shoot? No, I think these guys, a few can probably spot through here and at least, let's see how many can see. Uh, I would say probably like two can't. Okay. So that's still eight guys that can fury. I'm not in rapid fire range, but that's at least 16 shots. Is that at the... At the squad here. Oh, the assault squad, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's eight. I'll do this twice, hitting on fours. Okay. That's three hits. And, uh, oh, that's not too bad. That's six, okay. so nine, nine hits total. in total. Yep. Yep. And four's the wound. Yep. All right. So four's you got. to wound. That is six. Okay. I'm going to take bad. these on normal guys because I don't want the unit to break. And I do have an apothecary. So three ups. And we don't fail a single one, Paul. Of course. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Let's do the Rhino there at the back as well. One shot with the Bolter. Yep. Twin linked hits and one more wound. Okay. So here's a normal save and saved. Yep. Okay. All right. Hmm. Is that it? I think that's it. Yep. Okay. I owe you a break check because the Dawnbreakers did take five. I've got a Praetor there. Yep. So that's leadership 10, but that goes down to nine because of the, the night fighting, but ah! it's a six. <laughs> All right, I'll remove those casualties in just a minute, and I think we have a, we have one assault still to resolve. Is that yeah, correct? That's right. We do have a combat to resolve over there. All right, we only got the one combat to resolve, and we're pretty much fighting at the same time here, except for his chaplain who has a fancy spear that goes first. That is correct. So no hatred this round, uh, just three attacks. No hatred. So I'm hitting you on well, just one hit, so a, yep. a six. And then this is going to be plus one strength. Yep. And that's going to be, ooh, that's going to be a wound. It doesn't rend, but it is breaching two. And another six. Oh, excuse me, not brutal breaching two. two. Brutal two. Brutal right. two, excuse me. You owe me okay. two, two brutal two. Uh, so one brutal two. Two ups. We're okay. Okay. And then uh, you just want to do your lightning claws? Sure, I'll do my four attacks with lightning claws, hitting on threes, and wounding on fours with shred. Thank you for shred. Uh, that's two guys killed. Okay, let me just do the apothecary saves real quick. Yep. Okay, so nope, so two are gonna die. Mm -hmm. But before they die, I got 16 guys with chain swords, yep. uh, including the apothecary who has a chain sword, it's not a power sword. So here's the 16 attacks hitting on fives. No hatred. Wow, you don't even need it. I don't need it. When you're, I'm rolling like this, like there's the famous blood angel sixes. Ah, wow. And then this is wounding on fours with shred. Yep. Okay, so... Wow, 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 wow. We roll. Uh, okay, so six. Six, okay, six two ups. I can pass that. I passed the last turn. You've been so. passing a lot. Uh, there's another wound, so... Um, yeah, I'll just put a wound on the normal guy. Okay. The Diglett Goddess had taken one, but I think I can allocate that here. Okay, yep. and then I've got three axes, and you've got... I've got one chain fist and the delegatus. Okay, so you want to do yours first? Yep, sure. Let's do the delegatus. Four attacks, hitting on threes. Okay, three fails, of course. 
Nope, that's a one as well. Wow. Okay, and the chain fist. Uh, one hit. I kill one. Okay, so that's just going to be three total. Yep. All right, so I've got uh, six attacks from the three axes. So yep. these are hitting you on fives. And it's only one. Mm -hmm. And then this is wounding you. On a three. Yep, there it is. There's a Blood Angel uh, six. And uh, I need a five up. That's correct. I've got four, so I'll put another wound on the Delicatus. Okay. Uh, you did, um, I did two wounds, you did three. That's right. So I'm going to lose by one, but we're stubborn ten. Yep, that's right. Okay, so here we go. And that's an eight, so we stick for another round. Perfect. All right, um, let's roll for my single objective, what I get here. And at current rate, I would assume this will be a one, two, or a three. No, I actually get a point. Hey, there you go. Lucky me. All right, so that brings our score to four for the Blood Angels, two for the Emperor's Children, and we're about to start the top of turn three. Okay, starting turn three for the Blood Angels. The first thing is this uh, mobilized rhino over here is going to attempt to remobilize himself. Nope, he's still immobilized. So now we get into some of the movements. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move some javelins, but I want to make sure that I don't trigger a reaction there. All right, Paul, I'm going to move some uh, Dawnbreakers over here. Would you like to react? Um, you got a lot of units that can do it. Hmm. question is like, where would I go? Just pull back a little bit. I feel like there's no real point at this moment, so I'll just stay there. Okay. So we're going to come on over to this side and attempt to... You're going to be able to fit all your guys there in coherency? I am, because I can go coherent there. Actually, no, I can't actually. I can't get around that. I thought I could. So I tell you what, let's change that up a little bit. Sorry about this. We've got to do a little bit of a reverse so that we don't break any rules. Instead of moving the Dawnbreakers there, what I will do is I will jump the Angel's Tears that can fit. Whoops. Excuse me. So we'll jump the Angel's Tears there. Just a little bit. To make sure we're out of the one inch. Uh, the Dawnbreakers will come this way. Do you want to react to this or no? Uh, do I want to move four inches away from them, make it a little bit harder for you to charge, but move off the objective? Nah, it's fine. I'll stay there. Okay. So then the Dawnbreakers will instead come over here. The Assault Squad is going to surround the Surround Dar Sound. Surround Sound, the Daradeo, mm. as best as we can. So they're coming this way. Make sure, yeah, all of that can reach 12 inches. Just making sure. The Incandius will inch towards his prey. He needs to kill that Land Raider at some point. And I get the distinct feeling that I'm going to have to send another Assault Squad in here because chewing through your, your weapon skill 5 is not working very well right now with your Command Squad. So we'll just move the Assault Squad over here. And then the tax squad is just going to stay on that objective. They're just going to maximize the number of models that get on there just in case for some reason. Okay, I think that's it for the movement. Uh, we'll get back. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the, the heavy support squad. Yeah, it's probably good that we get back into the Rhino. So we'll go ahead and send them that way. Can't believe I didn't even manage to kill those guys off. Right. And then we're going to go 14 inches, which puts us roughly about there. Okay, uh, that should be it for all the moves. We'll come back in just a moment. There will be some shooting. All right, let's get the shooting started for the Blood Angels. I'm going to start with the Angels' Tears. They're going to unload their weapons into the attack squad in front of them. It's all assault, so we can assault after that. Yep, and that attack squad will return fire. Okay, so here's the eight shots out of the assault cannons, hitting you on threes now, because there's no knife fight. And uh, not too bad, five hits. Yep. Twos with sixes rending. Uh, there's oh, three rends course, and two normal saves. Blood so Angel sixes. Die. 
Uh, two more? Uh, two normal saves. We'll take it on Sergeant. Oh, of course, he's dead. Oh my gosh. And another normal guy. Okay, well. Great. Okay. Two uh, plasma pistols out yep. of the uh, Arch Erlim. Uh, he hits once, but he gets hot. Does mm -hmm. he fry himself? No. All right, so the one, uh, hit, wounding on a two, but four it breaches. Uh, that's just a normal wound. Okay. Take it to Sergeant. Three up. He's right. dead. Okay. Yep. All right, your return <laughs> fire. Uh, so I do get the fury, right? Uh, you stayed still, so yeah. yeah. So 30 shots. 30 shots. First 10 on threes, and that is seven hits. Okay. That is... Six hits. So okay, 13. 13. Yep. And last 10. That is another seven. So okay. exactly 20 hits. Yep. Forward the wound. First 10. Wow. Okay. That's three. Okay. Second 10. And that is seven. So 10 exactly. Okay. So 10 saves. Yep. So we're going to try and tank some of these on the sergeant or the arch Erlim. One, two. This guy's tanked a lot. Three. Huh? He has. Four. He's protected by Sanguinius. No, he's dead. So that's uh, six. And then I owe you four more on the regular mm -hmm. guys. Uh, and one more. So that leaves one lone assault cannon there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, nobody else is going to shoot at them. You want to just resolve sure. the, the break? The break check. Yeah. On a seven. Yep. No knife fight. That's an eight, of yep. course. And they're, they're running. They're running. And six. Probably that might just be enough. Uh, just on still. Okay. Now, I think for the next thing I'm going to shoot, I'm going to go ahead and shoot at... I'm going to use my javelins at your Daredeo. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you've got no uh, return fire, right? That's right. Okay. So, we got four last cannon shots. Mm -hmm. Hitting you on threes. Yep. And that's two hits. Yep. Wounding you on twos. Uh, just one invul. Five up. Nope. Takes a wound. All right. Two multi multis twin linked. Yep. Uh, twin linked. That's going to be two hits. Yep. Not in armor brain range, armor bane range. So yep. threes, uh, nothing. Okay. And uh, that's all the shooting from them. Yep. Uh, next up, I'm going to do the bolt pistols from the assault squad into the same Daredeo just for the heck of it. Sure. Okay, so that's going to be 16 shots, including the apothecary, because that unit has not suffered any casualties. Yep. All right, fours, or excuse me, threes. And uh, wow, the hot dice continue, only mm -hmm. three misses. Oh, of course. Well, let's look for the Blood Angel sixes. Let's see what happens. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. Loaded dice. Five two ups, and we're good. Okay, so just one wound so far. Uh, the I'm not going to make my charge longer, so the Dawnbreakers with the Praetor will not uh, do anything. Okay. The Incandius, however, will go ahead and shoot his oh, assault course. cannons. Into... Probably this is enough to wreck that land right there. Well, let's see. So hitting you on twos, eight shots. Yep. Okay, uh, that all hits. Mm-hmm. Fishing for sixes. Two sixes needed to... Nothing. Wow. Yeah, nothing there. Mm. Okay. Um, last thing, uh, I don't think I have anything else. So that's going to, I think, resolve all of my shooting. You don't have any yep. other break checks. Could have been better, but I mean, that's just me being greedy. So sorry <laughs> for that. Uh, we'll come back in just a moment with some of the assault moves. Starting with the charges for the Blood Angels, we're going to go ahead and go into the Daredale with this assault squad. We pretty much can't fail. Uh, no reactions. Is that right, Paul? That's right. Okay. So, yep, yeah, we're going to go, wow, we're going to go whopping 10. We'll move all that in. And then again, there, that's going to be probably everybody that can make base. The rest of the guys pile in behind. The second charge is going to be the Praetor and the Dawnbreakers are going to go ahead and charge into that tax squad. Would you like to react to that one? Yes, I will return uh, Overwatch here. Okay, uh, why don't you, I'll, I'll roll the charge. Sure. It's plus I mean, two. You're, you're safely in there. So. Yeah, I'm safely in there, so it's a total of nine. Of course, there's another or six. Eight, excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll do the 30 shots. Okay. First 10 on threes. Uh, that's five hits. Okay. That is nine hits. So 14 so far? Yep. And the last 10, that is six. So we're at 21. Okay. So this is 10, 11. So we got. Looks like a pretty good roll. Seven. Okay. And another 10. So 11 in total. Okay, so I owe you 11 saves. Now these are all two ups. Yep. Just gonna take these on Dawnbreakers. They're two wound models and I've got an apothecary there. 
So one fail and the apothecary save. So one guy is on a wound. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you could just put a dice next to anybody for me. Sure. I got a 10 inch charge. So we're basically going to come in. No, don't forget, you do have to stay an inch away from That's the... That's right, from the Daredeo, excuse me. Sorry for that. So no instead problem. we will be here. <coughs> And we will be more like that and that. Okay, so that gets those guys in. Sure. Uh, the last charge, or excuse me, the next charge is going to be the Incandius into the Land Raider. Yep. Uh, plus one, so that's going to be a total of a six inch move. So just move that in for me, Mr. Cameraman, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. And then the last charge is going to be the 10 man, <coughs> excuse me, Assault Squad is going to attempt to help out their brothers. Uh, plus two to this, but it's difficult terrain, so we'll go ahead and just call it neutral, and it's nine inches. So they'll move in just a minute. We'll, we'll go ahead and finish that move off camera, and then we'll come back with the assault phase. Okay, so the assaulting assault marines and dawnbreakers have made their way in. Let's start with the easy one, the Daredeo. Uh, you want to just get your swings out of the way? Sure, happy to. Um... It's initiative four, right? You don't want to do your hammer of wrath first? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting hammer of wrath. You can tell I don't play blood angels much. Two, four, six, eight. So there's gonna be eight hammer of wraths. These are gonna need sixes. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's see how many sixes he's getting this time, huh? Blood angels, three. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Blame GW. What are we guessing? How many ones am I getting? I say none. Oh, wow. That's indeed right. Okay, I'll do my three attacks back, hitting on threes and wounding on twos. So that's two armor saves. Okay, so I'll just take these on normal guys. And then we have a feeling of pain from the apothecary. Nope, so one guy's gonna go down. But he's gonna get to swing. Yep. All right, uh, let's resolve the uh, power swords first. So that's going to be nine attacks from swords. Mm hmm. And uh, these, your weapon skill four with the Daredeo, right? I believe Daredeo is also weapon skill five. Is it really? I think he's basically just a contemptor. Okay, well, I'll just take check real quick, make sure I get it right. Uh, I very rarely have Derradeos in hand to hand combat, so let's see what that means. So for a Derradeo. The Dorito. The Dorito. The Dorito is weapon skill five, you are correct, mm -hmm. sir. Okay, so these need uh, fives to hit you. No hatred or anything like that, so that's going to be four hits. It's enough. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, I normally need sixes, but I need fives because of Blood Angels. Mm -hmm. Legion rule. And sixes Ren. So just one normal save so far. Yep, let me reroll that. Hey, it's a one. It's a one. Okay. Okay, and then here's the axe guy. Yeah. So he's a sergeant, so he has four attacks on the charge. Uh, hitting you once again on fives. It's going to be two hits. Mm-hmm. Uh, strength five, once again, still needs sixes, but uh, fives for mm -hmm. Blood Angels. AP two, uh, nothing there. Okay. And then I've still got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve normal guys. That's going to be 36 attacks. <clears throat> so here's the first 18 on fives. So the fives is what's going to save you. So there's only one, two, three, four, five. So five, six hits. That was a five out of the first batch. Mm -hmm. And the second batch. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So six and five is going to be 11. Yep. And these are all chain swords. So these are going to need fives with shred. And so far we've got one, two, three, four, five with shred. Wow. Six, seven, eight, sir. Hmm. Eight normal saves. Hmm. hmm. Um. Nothing. Okay, well, right. so uh, you it's took a, a wound. Yeah, it's a drawn combat. Yep. I took a wound, you took a wound, so that one just sticks where it's at. Yep. Okay, next up we have the Praetor going into. I'm going to issue a challenge to your sergeant. Sure, let's take it. Okay, so the Praetor is going to go with Paragon Blade. Let's do your Hammer of Wrath. Four. Hammer of Wraths, how many do I got there? I think I got what, four? Four, four, yeah. Okay, so four Hammer of Wraths. Uh, ooh, that's three wounds. That's one dead Marine. Okay. More sixes. You see a pattern here? Mm -hmm. I do see a pattern. This is ridiculous, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Praetor has six attacks on the charge due to having two specialist weapons. Mm -hmm. Hitting you on threes to your poor sergeant. No Mastercrafted. And this is a Paragon Blade, normally threes, but it goes to twos for Blood mm -hmm. Angels at AP two. 
That's going to be the sergeant and two more. Uh, well, actually, the sergeant and two wounds for combat res. Yep. Okay. And then spear guys, because of reach, they would be the next to pile in. And that brings one, two, three. I got three spears three. left. Yep. Four. Four, right? Yep, four spears. Okay, so that's going to be three attacks each. So it's going to be 12. What's the whisper? Can we jump over people? Uh, well, it's within an engaged model, three inches of an engaged model. Yep. So, 12 attacks. Hitting on threes because the weapons go five. Pew, 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 pew. And then these are basically killing on twos. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a squad, squad wipe. Yep, squad wipe. Uh, uh, uh. Dawnbreaker's doing what they should, which is kill tactical marines. Mm -hmm. We'll resolve the consolidate later on after we resolve the last combat. This one uh, is a bit more tricky because we've got a assault squad that is coming in and one that was already there. We've helpfully turned the one that just charged in backwards. So that's why they're facing the wrong direction. Uh, I do have some dangerous terrain checks. Yep. So I've got four of them. And one guy is going to bite it, so just give me a chainsword. He kills himself on the way in. All right. Okay, and then it goes into the, the combat, and the first guy, once again, is going to be the chaplain. First guy again is going to be the Hammer of Wrath. Do you have two guys there? Yeah. Uh, how many do I got? I think just two that make base contact. Yeah. Three. Three? Three. Okay. Okay, so fours. Uh, just two saves. Yep. Two two ups. We're good. I two sixes. Such two a sixes. rare side. Wow. I know, right? Ah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, chaplain. Yep. Three attacks. Uh, one hit. Yep. And one wound. Normal save, but brutal two. That's okay. Okay. And then uh, you want to resolve your sure. your initiative fours before mine. My lightning claws hitting on threes. And they all hit. Uh-oh. And fours with shred. That is four AP3 wounds. Okay. So I'm going to take these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these on the apothecary saves on the unit that was already there. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll lose two. So just two chain swords go down, but they do get to swing. Here's another one over there. Yep. There you go. All right. Let me resolve swords. That, uh, how many were charging in? I think that's three that were charging in. No, uh, uh, power swords. It's only a 10-man unit, right? So yeah. Only two. Okay. No, no, that's the apothecary. Okay. So two. That's going to be six attacks out of the guys that charged. Yep. So these are hitting you on fives. Uh, just one hit, mm -hmm. and wounding on a three for Blood Angels with a six yep. wounding. Uh, that's just a normal save. Okay. All right. And then I've got chain swords. How many guys charged in, and how many were there? Now you got to separate because those have one more attack. Yeah, the guys facing backwards get an extra attack. So they charged in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven out of the existing unit. Okay. Uh, seven, right? So 14 attacks, and then one, two, three, four. This is a chain, this is an axe. Oh, oh X and yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. So, okay, so let me recon. One, one. That's an X as well. Yeah, just the guys that were there, because they yeah, don't so get one, the strength bonus one, two, to wound. Yeah. Three, four. Okay, so mm -hmm. then that's going to be eight. Yep. All right, so this is the guys over there that don't get any sort of bonus for the Legion rule. Hitting on fives, only two, three. And wounding on fours with shred, with shred, uh, four, or three, one, excuse one me. Uh, one is a ren. No, no, it's no, there's no ren. Chainsword. It's not a, yeah, yeah, it's just chainsword. So there's a one. You got one guy. Okay. Yep, the one who has already taken a wound is dead. Okay, and then the guys that charged in, how many do I have, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, so for those seven, that's going to be 21 attacks. Yep. All right, I'm going to roll the first 10, followed by 11. So on fives, one, two, three, and then now the 11. Four, five, six. So six total hits. Mm hmm uh, these ones do get the charge bonus yep, because only on threes. Yep. So three is with shred, and then re roll those. Uh, five saves, sir. Okay. Five two ups, and we're good. Okay. And then the last is our initiative one axes. Yep. And your whatever initiative one. Yep. 
Uh, I'll do my Delegatus first for attacks, hitting on threes and killing on twos. He kills three. Okay, that's going to be three out of the squad that was already there. Yep. And... Um, well, these are the backwards guys. I think now you might have to... You have to choose. This guy yeah. is... And you got to choose an oh, axe. Oh, that's a power fist? That's power fist. Okay. Choose an axe on a pocket carry. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah, I just killed the apothecary. No, they, is that apothecary not in the new no, no, unit? No, 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 no he's unit. not. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Need one more. One more guy. So yeah, one axe. One axe. Uh, yeah, I just kill an axe. He still gets to swing yeah, this turn. Yeah, he And my chain fist. Okay. Good axe. One hit. One more. Okay. So another axe, but still gets to fight. Another axe. Okay. Yep. So the three axes, that's six attacks. Yep. On fives. And uh, that's... Better. So that's uh, three. Mm -hmm. And this is no charge bonus. Yep. Uh, just one invul. One invul. Five up. Nope. One guy takes a wound. Yeah. Okay. That's a double wound. That was the one. Yeah, this yeah, one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just allocated there. Okay. And I still have a fist to resolve. A fist yeah. that actually hasn't swung at all this game because <laughs> I've kept, yeah, I've forgotten perfect. that I had a fist there. Uh, so he has two attacks, fives, yep. one, mm -hmm. and. That's a wound. One invulner guy dies. Oh, dead. Okay. So you definitely won because you killed, I think, something like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, correct. Okay. And I needed three wounds. So I lose by four. So the chaplain unit. Yep. Uh, they stick. Yep. The new unit that charged in, their leadership eight. They can draw a line of sight because of my warlord trait, so they become a nine, but they lost by three, so that's a six. Mm-hmm. And they run. Mm -hmm. So the new unit that charged in runs uh, nine inches. So we'll resolve that in just a moment. They'll be coming to my table edge. And we'll move over all the consolidates and all the results of the combat. And we'll be back with Emperor's Children and the token scoring, actually, for the Blood Angels in just a moment. Yep. Sorry about that. We, uh, in our haste to resolve all of the various uh, res uh, results for the assaults, we forgot that the Incandius charged the Land Raider. So he has five attacks on the charge, hitting on twos. They all hit. And strength nine, so fishing for fives. And that's going to be the, the ones yep. we need. See but if you blow it up. See if I blow you up. Uh, nope. That goes to, it's AP2. Hmm. So that goes to a six, so it's just a wreck. Yep. Okay. Uh, now the last thing to resolve for the turn three for the Blood Angels is once again we have this Marker over here with the tax squad. So adding plus two to this roll, uh, that's going to take it to a six, which is going to be one point, and the objective marker still stays. So halfway through turn three, the score is currently Blood Angel five, Emperor's Children two, and we'll be back in just a moment for their turn three. Emperor's Children turn three. Um, there isn't, admittedly, not that much purple left on the table, um, but yeah, let's see what we can do here if we can t still turn anything around. Um, okay, so let's see first if we can rally that squad over there. They need a seven and they are rallying. Okay, that's decent. And then does Eidolon come in? I need a three plus here. And it is a four. Okay. Yes, Eidolon finally decides to he join the party. Does decide that it's time to join this party after all. Okay, uh, let's pick a spot. I think I'm just gonna go right here, which seems like the smart thing to do. Yeah. Got to do something about uh, the rampaging Dawnbreakers and the Praetor. That is indeed so. Um, okay, let's see how far do we scatter from here. And that's a hit. Perfect. I'll take that. Um, all right, so Eidolon's unit uh, deployed as such. I'm going to be greedy. I feel like at this point I have to be in charge both of those units. So I'll have to do dangerous checks here. The single guy. It's okay, Eidolon. It's also okay. That's surprising. Eidolon's known every for catching now missiles then, to the face. Every now and then he also decides that he wants to stick around. So, hmm, okay. Uh, let's move into the shooting phase. There, it probably isn't much to shoot here, to be very honest. Um, yeah. <clears throat> the lone sun killer. How many woods does this guy have left? He's still got two left. Two left, right? So yep. he's on five. Uh, he's on four. On four. Okay. What makes most sense from a target priority perspective? I guess the Sun, sun Killer is just going to try to pick off a Dawnbreaker here. Okay, yep. I'm going to activate my advanced reaction. 
Mm. Ah. That's a smart move. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's okay. That's that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay. Yep. All right. Get your uh, you get your shot. Yep. Yep. We steam one. Okay. So I do get a four up shroud from this thanks yep. to the advanced reaction. Uh, no. So one is going to die. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the guy with the blades over here. Sure. And then we immediately make a charge move subject mm -hmm. to all the normal. All right. So here's the jump packs. Yep. Uh, that's going to be an 11. Mm-hmm. That will put us into contact with the Sun Killer, but more importantly, it's going to probably get us away from Eidolon and friends. Which is what we needed to do there. Leaving the Assault Squad to their fate. I think that should be 11 there as well. Yeah, that's within 11. Uh, I do have dangerous train checks for everybody indeed. And it's going to look something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me uh, resolve the dangerous terrain checks. So I'm just going to do, I've got one, two, three, four with spears. So let's go ahead and resolve those separately. Uh, two of them are going to take wounds. Uh, they're supposed to be an apothecary with them as well, sorry. So two take wounds. And then here's the sergeant of the squad with the sword. He's good, the apothecary. He takes a wound, which is going to kill him. And then we're going to have the Praetor. All right. So, yep. So two guys are wounded, and the Apothecary smushes himself against the rocks. All right. What else is for your shooting, sir? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think that is pretty much it. I guess I can try to fight some rhinos here. You can probably snap shoot at... Uh, oh, you know, I totally forgot there's a single guy there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I've used, <laughs> my, I've used all my reactions. Yeah, so. that's right. So let's do the two rhinos into him. Okay. That's four shots. I'll just do them together, yeah? No problem. And uh, Twin linked. All hit. Yep. And that is two wounds. Okay. So just two three ups because that's all he's got. Three and a four. We're good. Okay, let's do the squat. That's seven guys snap shooting. Yep. I'll do the first seven on sixes. That's two hits. And another seven, another six. So three hits in total. Okay. And that's two more wounds. All right. Does he pass again or does he die? Yeah, he mm, passes course. again. Of course he of does. Of course, of course. Um, well, at least he's not on the objective there. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move to combat phase. Um, assault phase. Now, smartly, my target ran away. Um, Bravely ran away. Bravely ran away. Bravely here. ran away. Um, but so we're still going to be greedy and we're going to try to take both the javelins as well as that assault squad. Okay. So, yep, let's see what we can do here. Uh, javelins, I don't know if they can react. I believe um, you can, yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, overwatch with those guys because That's why not? That's a very smart move indeed. Yep, so you want to just roll your charge and then I'll resolve the overwatch? Sure. That's actually not that far. <laughs> oh, That's wow. That's a three plus two, so a five. It's enough to get there. It's enough That's to get to the assault squad, assault and then you got yep. a kind of daisy chain, right? And this is probably not going to work. Yep. Okay. Let me resolve the overwatch. Yep. So we got four LAS cannons. I'm going to fire the uh, 100 killers as well. Sure. So here's the LAS cannons. Mm -hmm. It's going to be two hits. Yep. And on. One wound. Yep, you kill one. Okay, and then here's the two multi oh, let me Let me take it on the guy and cover six up. Ah, oh, there's a six. There you go. Okay, here's the two multi melters. Yep. Both hit. Yep. And one more. Another six. Another six. <laughs> and then the four hunter killer missiles. Yep. And all four hit. Yep. And it's going to be three, four wounds. Okay, three, four, four. Okay, so four two ups. Uh, and you kill two. Excellent. Now uh, that's payback for the, the payback. six ups. That's payback indeed. Yep. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Take the broken guy here. Okay. And you got a five inch charge. Yep. So only just want to make it in here. Now, is this still a disordered charge? Uh, yes, it is because you did declare against multiple targets. Sure. All right, where would you like to start? You want to start with the easy one, the Sun Killer? Yeah, sure. Do you, you want me to roll it, or do you, uh, do you okay. concede that it's uh... a... Yeah, I concede, I concede. Okay. I concede the Sun Killer. All right. Saves us a little bit of uh, air time and, uh, yep. and energy. All right, where would you like to go next? Sure, let's do this one here. Okay. 
Uh, what I'll would you like to resolve first? Hammer of Wrath. Uh, we'll do four. Okay. That is four wounds. All right. I'm going to take these on normal guys. So three ups. Uh, we fail one apothecary. Uh, nope. So one guy is going to go down. I'm just going to kill the chain sword. Okay. All right. What's next? Uh, Eidolon is going to pile in. Okay. I believe he has five attacks on charge. Uh, disordered. Yes. I think it's... I don't know, it should be four now probably, but... Yeah, I, I think he's a Praetor equivalent. It's probably four, but no charge bonus because of the uh, the disordered charge. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Just check that he doesn't... Oh, this is the other book. There's the trader book here, right? Yeah. Sorry about that. Temporary timeout while we resolve how many attacks Eidolon has. Actually, first time using Eidolon in 2.0, so ah. bear with me. Yeah, you used him a lot in 1.0. That's right. And he was famous for eating crack missiles to the yep, face. Yep, that's four attacks. Okay. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes indeed. Mastercrafted, but don't need that here. Okay. Twos. So that's three guys squished. Okay. It's going to be another three. So one, two, three. All right. Yep. What's next? Then come the spears with initiative six. So pile those guys in. Those are not spears, so just jumps over. The last guy probably is out. Okay. I don't know what have piled in here, right? Yep. So that's this guy's out. So one, two, three, four spears. Okay. So eight attacks, given okay. that uh, nine attacks, including the sergeant there. Okay. So that's three, six, nine. Hitting on threes. Yep. Looks like a pretty good roll. About average, hitting on threes, and wounding on twos, so we have two AP3, two AP2. Okay, so for the AP2s, those are just going to be five up uh, apothecary saves? No, oh, those are oh, instant death strike. as well. Oh, the murder strike, okay, yep. so never mind, that's going to be two more dead. Yep. One and two. Yep. And then for the other AP3s, I'm going to try these one at a time on the sergeant. Sure. Pass. He's and not in pass. Please. That's the sergeant. Oh, okay. yep. All right, and now initiative five, the rapiers. Okay. Pile in, pile in, and pile in. So that's three guys. All right. And then we have the, this guy as well. Uh, he's probably out of range. Not that the apothecary really matters. So okay. that's uh, nine attacks. Okay. Yep. Hitting on threes. Yep. Very good roll. And wounding on fours. Um, Another very good roll. Okay, so that's actually... Oh, well, not not too good, I'm sorry. Three, three AP3. Three AP3. All right, yep. we'll try these on the sergeant again. First one, second, and third. He's all good. Okay. Okay, so now my swing. So going into the Contemptor here, or the Daredeo, excuse yep. me. I've got uh, two swords. Let me just resolve those first. It's four attacks, hitting on fives. Uh, two hits. Mm -hmm. It's not the first round of combat, so then this is going to be, or not a charge, I should say, so these are going to be wounding on sixes, but they rend. Uh, nope. Okay. And then chain swords, we've got one, two, apothecary, three. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so these are going to be six attacks. Yep. <clears throat> Whoops. On fives again. And that's going to be three. And on sixes with shred. One. Just one normal save. Two up. Okay. Yep, he's good. And then now going into the Palantine squad, I got one power sword. Mm -hmm. That's going to be two attacks, fives, nothing. One chain sword, mm -hmm. two attacks, fives. It's one, four with shred. Yep, one normal wound. Two up. Okay, we're All good. good. And then we've got finally the sergeant's axe. So he's going to have three attacks. And I'm going to put his into the Palantine blades. Okay. Fives. That's two hits. Of course. Of course. And threes. Yep. That's one wound, AP2. One final pain. Oh, we'll take it on Eidolon, who's this far up in bone. He's fine. Okay. So the net result of all that is I lost six guys, mm -hmm. which means I would normally be needing a two. Oh, my, my guy. Oh, yeah, your Daredeo still needs a swing. Three attacks, hitting on threes. Okay. Wounding on twos. Two more normal, I'm on saves. Okay. So three ups. And a feel no pain. Nope, so one more dead. So now that's going to mean snake eyes, mm -hmm. basically to stick. Let's see what happens. No initiative roll off. Off we go. 
What'd you get? I got a four. I got a four. I got shot. Yeah, you, you got me. Eidolons comes in and saves the day. At least he does something. Yep. We got one more combat to do. We yep. still got the never-ending combat over there. Oh, let's see if I can finally finish you off. Okay. <laughs> I have a... Uh, yeah. A, a, a chaplain. Yep, do the chaplain. All right, three attacks. And, ooh, it's going to be three hits this time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, winning on threes because of the plus one strength of the spear. Three uh, times... Oh, two times brutal, brutal two. Two times brutal two. Number one. And number two. There's a guy dead. Excellent. That's very helpful. I think so it's the we'll banner, the banner too. Yep. That's okay. Eat the banner. Yep. And then I've is got. It, uh, is death? Yeah, one wound left. Yeah, okay, only one wound oh. left too. Yeah. Mm, or no, he didn't. It's either the delegatus. No, you took the one wound. This oh, okay. Guy was full wound. Oh, you sure? So, okay, yeah, okay. Full yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So then there's one one wound okay. left on that. And <laughs> everything else is. Uh, is an initiative. initiative fight, yeah. Okay. No, no, he has a lightning claw, so... Oh, okay. But he doesn't hit. <laughs> Alright, you want to resolve uh, your Delegatus? My dude. Have I been doing four attacks for him? Or three? Three. It has three. been three? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Wow. Okay. Uh, axe, two yep. attacks. Fives. Nope. Nothing. Power Fist, two attacks. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I win, but uh, you're fearless because you're... Or you're stubborn because yeah, you're banner. Right. Yeah. All good. Okay. Uh, well, so this kills this assault squad over here. Mm-hmm. And you are free to consolidate whichever way you want to go. I would have liked to kill that squad to consolidate on that objective. Oh, well. Yep, that would have been helpful. That would have been quite helpful. Uh, so, unfortunately, I would have liked to kill off this squad and consolidate on the objective to at least contest it, but... It wasn't meant to be, so I only got the one point here at the back. The Palantine is obviously not a scoring unit, so let's see what we get here. It's another point. Yeah, so that brings the score to five to the Blood Angels and three to the Emperor's Children, and we're about to start turn four mm -hmm. in just a moment, possibly the last turn of the game. All right, turn four for the Blood Angels. This could be the last turn, so i got to kind of play smart because Paul may actually be able to sneak a draw out of this mm -hmm. if, uh, if some bad things happen. So the first thing is, is I need to try and rally my fleeing assault squad. So they rally on a nine because they can actually draw line of sight to the warlord. And they're going to rally. So that rallies them. That's very helpful. Second thing is I'm going to try to remobilize the immobilized rhino that's been immobilized for the whole game over there. Nope, he is still immobilized. And then we can just get into our normal moves. The key to the game is really going to come down to this last tax squad over here. So we're going to make sure that we get everything available into it. We're going to jump all of these gentlemen, and I do owe you some dangerous train checks in just a moment. Whoops, sorry. Got to stay outside of one inch on that rhino. We'll come there. Okay, so I'm going to do guess those. I'm going to move and react away from them just to make the charge as difficult as I possibly could. Okay. Okay. Good play there, because if that unit charges in, then it's probably game over. Yep. All right, so uh, learning something new today. Um, you can actually move, react, withdraw into your uh, dedicated transport. So that's that what is now back in the Rhino here. Yep, very smart play there to try and keep them alive. All right, so then I'm going to try and also make sure that I don't give up any unnecessary points. My Rhino is going to come all the way back here, 14. There's no sense in trying to go over there and get killed. <coughs> Attack squad is good where they're at. The assault squad here, after they rallied, they basically do that. Unable to charge, but at least facing the right direction. Then I'm going to move the Incandius eight inches this way. He's going to attempt possibly a long bomb charge, or at least do some shooting. We'll see. And then the Javelins are going to move back. And we think that Eidolon and his squad need to eat some last cannons, so we'll see what happens there in just a minute. And yeah, so that wraps up all the movement. It's pretty short and sweet at this point. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment and resolve a few units shooting. <laughs> so Paul was smart enough to movement react back into the Rhino, which means I got to put my big brain mode on and I also got to try and figure out a way to get him out of it. 
so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up with the angel's tear. He's going to shoot his assault cannon into the rhino. Would you like to react, Paul? Um, I'm going to be nice and remind what, you that you can shroud. What is the, what do they have in terms of weaponry? Just one shot assault grenade launcher, strength six. One shot assault. So you will have four shots here or four shots there about into the rear. Yeah, well, this is going to be four shots here. This is going to be five, and two of them are going to be in the side. Three will be in the rear. Mm, I think I'll save it. Okay. So here's the four shots from the assault cannon. Yep. On threes. It's three hits. Mm -hmm. These are strength six, so yep. fives to glance, six is to pin. And there's a glance. Yep. All right, so one whole point. Yep. Uh, here is the grenade, assault grenade launchers from this squad. Yep, that will shroud. Okay, so the three guys in the back. Mm -hmm. All right, so these are ballistic skill four, so hitting you on threes. And I'm doing the single shot assault grenade launchers. And this is strength six on the rear armor. Okay. Uh, one pen. pen. Five up. And we save it. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. And then the two guys on the side, hitting on threes. They don't hit. So okay. you're still stuck in your metal box. I'm safe. Coward. <laughs> All right. So next up, we're going to do the Incandius uh, Contemptor. We're going to put that into Eidolon Squad. Would you like to react? Well, you don't have any more reactions, correct? I don't. Okay. So this is going to be eight shots with his twin cannons in the fists. Yeah. Twos. So that's seven hits. Twos to wound with sixes rending. And that's going to be three rends and four saves. Four normal saves. Yep. On. On two ups. You kill a guy. Okay. Oh, you got an apothecary there, right? Oh, I do have an apothecary there. That's right. Yep. And so two female pains. Still kill a guy. Okay. And then the three, we're going to be gutsy and we're going to tank this on Eidolon's four up. And he tanks them all. Uh-oh. Eidolon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So next up, we're going to go into the javelins. They're going to also shoot Eidolon in his squad. Yep. So here's the last cannons. Four shots. And uh, that's what we needed. That's four hits. Mm -hmm. And these are on twos. Yep. And that's going to be four. Uh, you're going to try and tank, or you're uh, going to just kill guys? Not the last cannon. Are you I sure? Will just take the um, six ups from the whatever in the way. That's fine. Um, that's worth nothing. So you just kill four guys. Yep. And then we've got uh, two multi multi shots. Twin linked. They both hit. And once again on twos. Uh, two more uh, regular guys are idle on. Two ups. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, these are AP1. Remember, they're the multiple. Oh, multis. sorry, sorry. One six, yep. Yeah, so one guy just right, died. I realized, yep. No problem. Uh, okay, I mean, that's pretty much going to be all my shooting. Uh, I don't really have much left, but you do owe me a leadership check on idle on. Yep, of course. He's okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, now we're going to go into the assault phase. Uh, naturally, the Dawnbreakers and the Praetor, mm -hmm. and the uh, I'm Angel's Tears. Angel's Tears, right? Again, so apologies, folks. I've played Blood Angels like maybe three times in my life, uh, in Heresy at least. Okay, so let's do the charge for the Dawnbreakers. Uh, they're well inside. Now this squad has Melted Bombs. Okay. And I think then, I can disorder you, right? Uh, with, a, with a vehicle? Mm -hmm. Uh, it doesn't have a leadership, right? No, but it's... Uh, that's a fair point. I don't know. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can't. Yeah. Okay. Vehicles can't do that. You, yep. never, you can return fire. Uh, or Overwatch, actually. Yeah, sure. Let's do a bolter. Okay. Yep, two ones. Yeah, watch this kill somebody. All right, two ups. <laughs> and a feel. Nope. Nope, yeah. nope just a dead guy. Ah! Yeah, you killed a guy. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. All right, and then now the Angel Tear. Yeah, he gets plus two, so he's mm -hmm. in there with a five. And I don't think the Incandius can actually reach Eidolon's squad. No, no, he's not within 12. Okay, so that resolves the charges. Why don't we go ahead and do the combat? The, the combat. Yep. So now the Dawnbreakers do have uh, Melt Bombs. Mm -hmm. So I got four Dawnbreakers with Melt Bombs. Yep. Let's see if they hit. Uh, yep, that's going to be three hits. Yep. And each one of these is automatically going to. At least glance. First one, pen. Yep. Second one, pen. Third one, okay. pen. Let's see if you can give us a... See if we blow you up. Load, at least a five. And there nope. It's just a wreck. It's just a wreck. Okay. Now, I do have a thunder hammer. Mm -hmm. Same I initiative, have. yep. Yeah, I have same initiative, so i got to resolve that. Yep. All right, so he has... They can't, they can't expose. Uh, okay. A thunder hammer. Yeah, thunder hammer. 
So six attacks on the charge, on twos. And that's four hits. Mm -hmm. And these are on the rear armor. It's gonna be three more pins. Yep. And then let's see and if this explodes. Six. There's a six, there's a six, there's the boom. The boom, the boom. Uh, you're gonna catch all my guys for sure. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. And how many guys do you have left in your squad? So stupidly, that, that was a stupid move. Sorry, I think it was like six left. Okay, uh, yeah. I'll roll to wound them. Uh, that's all six. Mm, of course. Uh, two more? So four, four lives. Four, four lives? Life. Okay, you wanna roll for my guys? Yep, one second. Okay, the Dawnbreakers. Okay. That is uh, four. Okay, so here's the two ups on them. Mm -hmm. And all good. And the single guy, yep, takes wound. Okay, and the three up on him, he's good. Ah, this guy has also survived a lot. He has survived a lot. Indeed. And the pinning check, they're pinned. They are indeed pinned. That's uh, potentially the game winner right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, let's resolve, I think, just the never-ending combat over there with your command squad and my assault squad that's yep. lasted forever. Uh, again, I have the chaplain going first, thanks to Reach. Yep. Three attacks, one hit, mm -hmm. and that's one wound at Brutal 2. Yep. We're good. Okay, and then everything else is, well, no, you got a, got a claw there still. Yep, the lightning claw. Two hits. Two hits. Shredding. That's one AP3. Okay, I'll take it on the sergeant. And he is good. Uh, Blood Angel 6, of course. Of course, of course. Of course. And uh, you want to get your guy out of the way, your Delegatus? Sure. Uh, your weapon skill for majority, right? Yes, yeah, okay. so. So, Steam 2. Okay, so that's just going to be basically the sergeant and the... Um, power fist. The power fist. Okay, do the and, fist. Yep, so the axe and the fist. Yep. So here's the axe. Uh, one hit. Yep. Uh, no Nothing. wound. And here's the fist. Yep. One hit. Mm-hmm. You owe me an invuln. Five up. There we go. There it There's is. The five. Okay, so the chaplain sticking by himself once again. And ten. He's good. Stubborn ten. Yep. Okay. Uh, that is all of the assaults. It's been incredibly bloody. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the last thing that we need to resolve is potentially whether or not uh, the game is moot. I do have one objective marker. That's right. If I roll a one, we play on because I score no points. True. And you have a chance actually to kill my warlord and do different things. True. But I think if I score anything, then it's going to be game over. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, yep, it's yep, going to be one it. point. Good game, sir. Very good game, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, very, very, very uh, bloody game. It was very bloody. Interesting game, for sure. And it wasn't uh, It wasn't too far apart in the end. No, I mean, I actually, if that was a stupid move, obviously, I, I mean... Nothing about the Blood Angel specialist reaction, but that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I mean, and the dice rolls were, let's say, um, somewhat one-sided. <laughs> yes, they were, but we'll talk about that in the recap because I think there were some pretty classic uh, moments. So we'll come back in just a no, moment and we'll wrap it up. Yep. Well, that was, uh, that was a game. Very interesting game indeed. <laughs> it was a very interesting game. Uh, we've already been now probably about five and a half hours into this, so uh, apologies if we were dragging there a little bit or we were making some mistakes at the end. Possible. Yeah, it's quite possible. And me, uh, no excuses. This is only my second time to play Blood Angels in 2.0, and uh, I've only played them, I think, three times in all of Heresy. Hmm. I guarantee you I made mistakes. So just please leave a comment, but also show a little patience with us, I think. We're all still learning. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, uh, incredible game, actually. It started, I think, really rough for the Emperor's Children, mm -hmm. if, if I can say I that. I think that's an accurate statement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, uh, it started really rough. Uh, I scored points immediately. Mm -hmm. I scored three points turn one. The, the token, the objective marker disappeared, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. making your job even harder. Yep. Uh, Day of Revelation is nasty when you have eight units dropping in all on turn two. That's accurate. Yeah, uh, and you didn't have a lot of interceptor either. Nope, I only had one additional interceptor with my sun killers, which at that point, I mean... Like five flask cannons is nice, but it's also not really going to change the world yeah. uh, unless you have like a deep striking vehicle, right? Yeah. And then it was night fighting still at that point, so you only hit on threes. So 
I don't feel like I did that much damage to you with the intercept, actually. Yeah, I think it's fair. I got really, really lucky on that where I didn't uh, lose a single unit. I did lose a lot of uh, the Angel's Tears, but I didn't lose any of my units when I came in on that. So sure. that was really, sure. really, really lucky. Yep. Um, this is the first time we've actually played this mission as well. So it is Sector Control from the new Exemplary Battles yep. book. Uh, I know there's a lot of divided opinion in the public about the value of this book. Uh, what I can say is, is I thought it was a pretty interesting mission. Did you like it? Yeah, no, I, I, I did. I generally like missions that changed up a little bit. So having like the objectives that have random value. I mean, mm -hmm. it's reminiscent of the old War of Lies. And also disappearing objectives that add something new. So yeah, I actually quite liked it. Um, it's a little bit thin on secondary, surprisingly. There's pretty yeah. much only Slay the Warlord and then the defender can get an extra point if at the end of the game he has more units alive. Um, but I, I guess that's fine as well. I mean, often, you know, people tend to forget secondaries, I feel like. So I guess that's another way to handle that and kind of keep it more focused on the main objectives. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I do actually like the mission. Um, I'm starting to grow, to grow more fond of these four turn plus random turn length missions. Uh, I don't think a pure four turn game is, is honestly... Mm. my cup of tea just because my personal opinion is I think it favors some armies over others sure. some legions over others but this one where you had the opportunity to go for a fifth turn we yep. didn't but I think that that's still pretty good yep yeah no no I agree I actually like the I mean it, it makes the game a little bit tighter like mm. uh, often otherwise I feel like the first one or two turns you will probably have like a little bit of sitting back and kind of feeling each other out this way you get into the action a little bit faster yep. um I, I quite like that, personally. Yeah, absolutely. So, we're going to bring you more of the missions from the new books. We're going to bring you on custom missions as well to keep it kind of fresh and keep it different. Uh, we brought the Blood Angels to keep it fresh and different. We're going to continue to bring new armies to the battle reports as well. Now that we've said all that, um, let's get to the man of the match. Sure. So, I'm going to let the defender go first. So, who, who do you think was your man of the match for this one? To be honest, I think there's not much choice. Like, there weren't actually many units on my side that managed to kill anything of yours. So, um, the clear man of the match has to be the Deradio. Yep. Um, fortunate that this guy is coming out in plastic now because I think it's actually a very underrated great unit. Yep. Um, there are some loadouts that are probably better than others. Um, but yeah, personally, I quite like the plasma fit out. I mean, it's one of the few units that actually has an opportunity for a strength 8 pipe plate that can also become AP2 with the breaching. Yep. And as we saw in the game here, it's a little bit um, chance dependent, obviously, with mm -hmm. the scatter plus the breaching for plus. But if it hits right, and I think I had two pretty good hits with the template where I think I killed like six Angel's Tears and then set the second one probably like four Dawnbreakers. Yep. I think that's definitely quite worthwhile. I mean, it's, it's a good threat to have. Um, and especially now in a game where I think like elite units are quite prevalent that have two wounds often and a two plus safe, mm. it's a quite good threatening weapon. And on the other end, you have the um, whatever it's concentrated fire with the six shots for kind of reliability. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I think no, 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 not any big decision to say that it was definitely the, the radio. Yeah, I totally agree. It did put in some work. It did definitely kill more than its points because those Dawn Breakers and Angel's Tears with Assault Cannons are not cheap. Uh, so yeah, I totally agree with that. And I also agree with the fact that it's in plastic. There's really no bad weapon options on this either. The only one that's probably not going to get much use is the Volkite, but the last cannons are nasty against oh, yeah. vehicles. Sure. The standard uh, Anvilus Auto Cannon is nice and flexible. Mm. Uh, so yeah, good choice for you. Totally agree on that. So for my man of the match, I actually have two. The first one is the Blood Angel 6. I am not exaggerating when I say that if you looked at the video and you counted how many of these came up, it was unbelievable. These are brand new dice. These are brand new dice. They're GW dice. They're not, uh, they're not a custom or anything like that. So this was very unexpected. That's my first man of the match. My second man of the match is the Humble Tax Squad in a Rhino. Because I scored six points in that game and all six were scored by this unit. They scored three on the first turn and they scored one every single turn after that. So we say it a lot here on Far East Wargaming, troops and line win games, and that was a perfect example of oh, it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they, they, did, they did the work for you, all right? Yeah. I mean, other things were busy, keeping things busy, but yeah, I mean, it goes to show how important the scoring in this game. Yep. Um, because, like, this game looked quite bloody and you killed a lot of my stuff, but if it wasn't for that unit, I mean, you actually weren't that far ahead in points. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, first turn, getting that three is absolutely crucial to the game if i don't get the three turn one there's actually a pretty good chance that i don't win that mm. uh because you were just murdering me once my stuff came down i didn't really punch hard in the mouth enough so yeah it could have been a totally different game if not for the humble rhino so uh so definitely man of the match for that so that wraps up today's bat rep uh, we hope you enjoyed it if you stayed with us this long it is also a little bit of a different format you'll notice we're trying to do a little bit more banter and free-flowing and less scripted and 
Uh, we're just trying different things all the time. So if you liked the format or you didn't like the format or we got something wrong, then by all means, please let us know. Leave the comment. We love to hear your feedback. Uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, get ready for more content as well, because now that we're finally back from No Retreat, Indeed. we will be able to do more content on a regular basis. So for all of us at Far East Wargaming, I'm Jason. Paul. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.